Time for some retro Black Ops 2 action. Be sure to like that there video that you're watching right now. Subscribing's great. Consider becoming a channel member. The Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and all right times. Mostly all right times. And then there's the Amazon circulate link. If you're grabbing anything on Amazon, use that link in the video description. Easy ways to support the content on the channel. Why is everyone standing in one window? Isn't that just asking for us all to get shot and like they're blown up with one grenade? That was really weird how everyone on our team was in one window. One singular window. Why? Why would everybody be doing that? What? Where was this guy? I didn't even see that guy. Was he in there? That's so weird. Okay, I got a satchel charge and a bouncing Betty blown up, but uh, not the guy. Not the guy I was looking for. He's still alive? That's such a weird spot to camp, like, honestly. Like, I don't even think it gets that much foot traffic, does it? Oh, come on. How? How did you see that so fast and react? It's ridiculous. Alright, we're all good to go. This is good. I was like, you know what? We haven't done a retro COD night in a while. I know how neglected Black Ops 2 feels sometimes. So I thought the Easter Bunny better hop up on Black Ops. Yeah, blow up that thing. I wonder if they're gonna give us some resolution or FPS boosts when they drop all these bad boys on the game pass. Probably leave as is, right? Probably leave as is. <laughs> That's alright. Okay, I saw the tip of his head as I was throwing my grenade and I realized I'm gonna die. Hostile hunter killer drone inbound. It's a nice time out on the open oceans. This is such a strange level, but uh, people seem to love it. That guy's still camping. To what a weird spot for that guy to camp. I. I don't get that strategy at all. You're just sitting at the second level there, like... It's not like you're even defending a position, you know what I mean? It's not like it's a, uh... An objective game mode or something. That's so strange. That behavior, I, I don't... I don't get it. Did I watch the Star Wars 1313? I've, I've seen all that Star Wars 1313 stuff, but... Yeah, I mean, they probably just leave it up for... I don't know, because they've forgotten about it, probably. It is kind of weird. Damn it. Not Lord Umbrella. Does he praise the Umbrella Corporation? Speaking of which, we should probably tackle more uh, Resident Evil streams at some point. I've always kind of wanted to do those Revelation ones. You know, Resident Evil Rev 1 and 2 Revelations? Streamwise, I thought they'd be fun. I think I shot it too early? No, oh, I got it. Okay, good. It's a blackout. Is that where they got the name for the uh, Paddle Royale from? Is, is the blackout you get when you shoot down a UAV? Damn, man, that guy just seems to know where your ass is. I thought I just blew up their UAV. Did they get another one? Oh, <gasps> I'm getting shot by the dragon fire. You gotta be kidding me. The dragon fire is killing me? Yeah, aside from all the jaggedy edges, not too bad looking of a game. Really hoping we get this uh, remastered someday. Although apparently it's supposed to get reimagined in uh, not Gulf War, but the one after, I guess. 
No, that sucks. Have I played the quarry? Yes, I have. I did reviews of it on Series X, recently Series S, because the Game Pass drop, and I streamed the whole thing. So if you want to watch me play the quarry, you can go back and watch those streams. Hello there. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to pour my wine before the stream started. I am running a little bit late tonight. We have ourselves a Mount Dawson uh, Cabsoff. This is what we're going to be enjoying tonight, red wine. Inspired by the natural awe of the Canadian Rockies, Mount Dawson Winery crafts wines that capture this peak of traditional winemaking, selecting classic varietals from top wine regions. Our winemakers blend full-bodied, fruit-forward wines with character and a long-lasting finish. Yes, yes they do. It's a full-bodied red with rich notes of red fruit and a long-lasting finish. Pair at the end of your journey with robust, rich dishes. 13% at 750 milliliters. Mount Dawson wine. Wine elevated. From Vancouver? Oh, mother... F <laughs> Whatever, they make good wine, I guess. It's part of my boxed wine collection. Hmm, yes, yes, quite richy tones, uh, fruit tones in this one, yes, quite so. Anyways, I hope everybody's having a, a lovely Easter... Easter evening going on here. Or is tomorrow Easter? I don't know what you determine as the Easter time. Oh, hey, Super. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. Let's do this. Overflow in Pakistan. Team Deathmatch. Crisis 3. Whatever you need to accomplish the mission. I don't remember those rice or rice crisis games. I don't remember those crisis games running very well on the uh, the old 360. What 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 in the world made you want to go play the old crisis games? You know they're remastered, right? And like a lot better now, right? <laughs> like the remastered ones are actually in a pretty good condition, and they clean those ones up nicely. You know what I've noticed? The grips on my controllers are dying again. I'm actually at the point where I might have to like order from that company a couple grips. Damn it. Because I'm like, my grips are running dry. Oh, hey, bird. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know how you guys feel, but, like, I, I, I don't like it when the grip, like, completely becomes all smoothed out. I think I have one more controller that's like this that I can, like, kind of take the analog stick from and, you know, kind of have grip again, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I might have to invest in some new grip pieces. I guess it depends on if we get new controllers coming out in, like, a month or two, I suppose. Because there is supposed to be that controller refresh from Xbox this year, in the summer or whatever. Hmm. Damn, I thought I was gonna get that guy too. I guess not. UAV inbound. Our UAV recon is online. Nah, no, just kidding. That's Call of Duty 4. Which we're actually due for a Modern Warfare stream at some point too. We haven't done that in a couple months. See, I'm falling behind on my uh, my retro streams because there's been too many new things to play. Isn't that a weird thing to have? You know, you get used to streaming all your favorites over and over again because you never get any new releases. And then when new releases happen, you're like, oh, I can't play my favorites ever. You know, only so many stream nights a year, right? That was a terrible grenade throw. Just awful. You got the physical dirt cheap? I think it's even backwards compatible and on Game Pass through the EA Play thing. Isn't the Crisis, like the original Crisis games? Well, why play on the 360? It's so weird. Yeah, that's high there, folks. Yeah, that's, that's just straight up bizarre that you would choose to do that. Because, yeah, they're, they're literally, the, even the originals are backwards compatible. You're, like, basically giving yourself, like, a worse level of performance for no reason. 
Even the controller's better and everything. It's just an improvement across the board to not do that. Oh, come on. That actually might be a good idea for, like, fun video to do is, uh, play the old Crisis games. Because they do look different from the new ones. Yeah, it takes a second to get used to the shooting in this one again. What I really should be doing is grinding out Modern Warfare 3 2's Battle Pass, though. So close. But yet, so far. But, you know, I gotta mix things up and try to track some different people. Ah, damn it. <sighs> Test games on 360 before? That's so strange. Wouldn't you just want the better experience? That's, that's how I look at it. Like, I never find a reason to give yourself, like, a worse gaming experience. Because I guess a popular thing right now for some of the Halo people is to do streams of, like, the original Xbox Halo 2, because they've got the multiplayer kind of working through this kind of service thing, but it's just, like... Feels like it would be a pain in the ass to do, and it just wouldn't be worth like. Cause you could play Halo at like 4K 120 on your Series X or on PC, and people are choosing to go and play the original Halo 2 on the uh, original Xbox at like was it 480, 30 FPS ish? <laughs> it's, it's mind blowing to me. Fuck! I just I keep kind of just getting shot up here. What's going on? Oh, and of course he's got the. How did I get shot by that guy even though the ship's shooting a helicopter? Hostile UAV above. Be advised, hostile counter UAV is online. There we go, I got the stealth chopper. Nice, nice, nice. Grenade! I was doing really well on my KD this match. I'm gonna throw it away. Oh, lag. Got a laggy host. That would explain the odd shooting, actually. Yeah, it's a little laggy. Because I was like, the shooting seems so weird in this match, and I'm like, maybe it's just getting used to this whole game, but... Nope. Did you see me expertly maneuver out of the way of that... I don't know if that's a bouncing Betty, but whatever that is. Uh, motion mine? Friendly UAV inbound. Fire out! Wow, we're, we're down by quite a bit. I, I don't see our team coming back from this. That's why we got the UAV on. Our UAV recon will find them. We need to drop these on Game Pass already so we can have like a big stream bonanza of this stuff. That's what we need. The Darkness 1 and 2? Yeah, I, I did videos of those both running on Series X if you missed that. Have I reviewed the mobile version? I did. Yeah. I, I did do that. Did you miss it? So I, I did do a Call of Duty mobile review. It, it really didn't... Not too many people turned out for it, so I was like, oh, I don't think we'll do anything more with it. Yeah, it was kind of like a bit of a bummer. COD Mobile. Because COD Mobile Warzone, right? Because that came out like nine days ago how was my day it was pretty good yeah it was, it was pretty good i went to I didn't do much I just kind of went and did the gym and uh yeah that was, that was about it i was trying to find because they're like they're raising my gym fees but they won't tell me how much it's up to 10 percent and they're like the person at the desk will be able to tell you and uh yeah, and then the person at the desk couldn't, and then the person at the desk couldn't understand why I was, like, wanting to know how much my gym fees were going to be. I was just like, I have a right to know, don't I? 
And they were, like, mad at me. I'm like, well, if I want to cancel, I need to know how much they cost. And he's like, even if you do cancel, you'll still get charged for a month. And I was like, okay. I was, I was like, like, really? Like, what the hell, dude? You just have to accept the price increase that you don't know how much it is. And it's just like, yeah, I just want to know what the price is. Like, I did, like what business? Like, in buying or paying for a subscription of anything, are you not allowed to know how much you're going to be paid or charged? It's crazy. They were acting like I was some kind of lunatic because I wanted to know how much my rate was going up by. I mean, the email said up to 10%. The regular rate, they said I, my rate would be lower than that. And then the lady at the desk thing that was called said that it would be a dollar higher than the regular premium price. And I was like, how does that make any sense? On C command. And I guess it's okay that I'm going to get charged just a random amount of money? <laughs> And I just have to accept it? And they're, they're making me out like I'm taking crazy pills because I'm like, I just want to know how much it costs. This is really not that big of a deal, but like, they're making it out to be like it's a really big deal. I just want to know the price. <laughs> that guy was like, just so like, oh man, who cares? And I was like, fuck you, man. <laughs> I hate people. Oh, where, where did this mine come from? Uh, anyways, it's been a while. Be sure to like the stream. Subscribe and great donations. Cool. Consider becoming a channel member. Channel member gift in the Patreon option. The Discord for stream alerts. And aggressively okay times. There's the... Do we do the channel member gift? And yeah, that's always an option. The Discord for the stream alerts, Amazon store for late link if you grab anything on there, and uh, GamerHeadquarters.com. I write stuff on my site sometimes, but not enough. Shooter down. Kill confirmed. UAV nice. UAV inbound. But yeah, it's, just, it's like, I, I think in, in most businesses and stuff, you're let it know, like, knowing how much stuff is going up in cost. Like, even Netflix and stuff, they let you know how much things go up in price. You may not like it, but they let you know. I'm just supposed to guess. The carbon tax increases? Yeah, our country's screwed. Canada is screwed. World of Warships mobile new release? Like, is it an update or is it like a new version of World of Warships? Yeah, I don't like my gym, but I'm kind of, like, just going, because I just do month to month, and I'm not in, like, a contract or anything. So... I can leave when I buy a house, because I'm going to end up living somewhere else, most likely. So... I'm just kind of coasting off of my membership. But I can leave at any point. There's lots of other gyms that cost a lot less. I actually pay a premium to go to a gym that kind of sucks. I was actually thinking of doing the math in my head. I'm like, I basically go to do an elliptical and like a few machines, and I'm like, I think it would be cheaper long term to like buy an elliptical and some free weights and maybe pay for a cheaper gym to use equipment at and just use the cardio at home and then, you know, do some free weights at home and then occasionally go to a gym to lift or do like regular machines. I'm like, I think it would actually be cheaper long term. Like, it's good to go out and go to the gym and stuff, but, like, it, it's fucking annoying. Dealing with these these idiots all the time. The front desk lady, she's great, but... Yeah, it's, it's some of the people there at that gym are just terrible. Why do they have... Why do they have seven players on their team? Four, five, six... How did, how did they end up with seven players? Is that, like, a glitch or something? Are they cheating? Is that other team a cheating? I just don't understand how they have seven players. Probably someone hacking. I mean, that's the reason we ended up on Hijacked again, I'm assuming. It's like, the hackers are really annoying because they want you to play their way, and they only seem to like Hijacked and Nuketown over and over and over again. They're real weirdos. But then the idea of, like, 
cheating on a game or changing up a game that's so goddamn old it's just probably weirdo material regardless, but you, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Hmm. You would cancel your membership. I, I've been there uh, 10 years because we were at one place and then we got moved to this new place and then during COVID and every, like we were, it was supposed to all be renovated too with new equipment. Never happened. That's a kill. Never happened. But yeah, I've, I've actually been paying the same price at, this, at, at the gym for like 10 years now. And now suddenly it might go up, and I'm like, I did the math, there's there's only a dollar seventy-five that it can go up if they are promising that it will stay under the premier price. And I'm like, I don't think it's worth it to them to nickel and dime me for an extra, like, dollar something. You would think, because I'm a 10-year customer, it's, it's just strange. I emailed back to their GM, who's he's such an ass, he's this one guy, he's, he's just the worst. And he's like... He just literally copied and pasted me their contract, but I was like, I don't have a contract with this gym, because they rebranded technically, and my contract's with the original gym. I'd have to go find I think I have my original contract, I'd have to go look at it, and see if they actually can increase the price by 10%, even then, like, I don't know how that works, because I've never signed a contract with this new gym, but like, does my old contract still even work, technically, because it's like 10 years old and with a different company? I mean, it's not like software where they can just keep updating this terms of service, right? It's a gym, and... I don't know, it's, it's weird. It's honestly very strange. But yeah, I, I don't like going there. I, I don't like the people there. The, the gym people are really annoying. They have like this weird thing about shoes. It's really awkward. I got yelled at by one guy. Because I the, the shoe thing is it's just... They're so weird. Or sorry, I didn't get yelled at. He, he raised his voice at me. There is a difference, I, I guess, yeah. Good job, Seals. <sighs> it's always cheaper buying your own equipment. Yeah, I, I know that, but it's like you feel less motivated because you have it at home. But then there was this other thing in my head where I'm like, I'm kind of a motivated person. I might literally get up and actually use more of like a, a workout and maybe do more days where I'm doing an elliptical at home and just doing cardio. I was, it was really, it was really making me think. Yeah. Hmm. Always a good night with the Sky Captain. You're very right. It is indeed. Let's go for the... Now it's Nuketown. Really? Okay. Yeah. Now it's Nuketown. Think they're gonna end up with seven players again? Anyways, uh... Yeah, it's, it's kind of boring because it's just the Easter weekend and it's a little... It's cold again. So it's, it's not like cold cold, but it's like cold, so it's not like... Well, actually, you know what? The cold isn't the issue. It's the quantity of snow that's stacked up that's a problem, so you can't really go and do things, so... Just chilling out. I did a... I filmed The True today. I might put out a video for that tomorrow morning. It's hilarious. And I'm working on Grandia, Dune, and these few games or so. Predecessor's fun. We might stream that tomorrow or the day after, I don't know. And Abyss I'm working on. I also checked out this game today, too. This one's kind of neat. Stasis Bone Totem. Yeah, it's kind of creepy, but the puzzle stuff was driving me nuts. Yeah. And he, but I hate Cold War. Team Deathmatch. And I kind of wanted to do Diablo tonight. But I was like, we haven't done COD in a long time. And, you know, you can't really stream COD, like older CODs, during the weekdays, because there's not enough players. Throwing frags! And I was like, well, I guess technically a Black Ops 2 stream should do well, because I've been have I have definitely a shattered the level of confidence in the stream performance recently. So I'm like, technically an old Black Ops stream should do okay. But we'll see. I can drop he's throwing a grenade and in the motion of drop shotting. Man, people are such tryhards. This game is ancient. You don't need to go that hard, dude. You don't need to drop shot and stuff. It's, it's an old, old cod. Yeah, damn it. Yeah, but no, I, I, I don't like the Cold War. Obviously, you know that. Also, it's 250 gigabytes of that precious current gen storage. There's no room for Black Ops Cold War on my hard drive, even if I wanted there to be. <laughs> 250 gigs, that game is so bloated. 
Yeah. I do wish we had some more storage stuff. Actually, speaking of storage, Seagate just announced they're releasing 25 terabyte expansion storage drives. So you know, like exter external drives, right? Where it's kind of like, they seem kind of capped at like 10 terabytes, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so they got 25 terabyte external drives coming. Not of MVME stuff, you know, that current gen storage, but of older storage, which is great. Uh, it's, it's a little late though, like, you know, a lot of us have moved on to that faster new storage, but like 25 terabytes, you can hold a lot of stuff on that, which is good. But it, it, it took so long, because I remember I was at CS, I think it was 18, 2018 or 2017. I can't remember which one, it might have been 2018. And uh, they were showing me, like on the demos, they had 50 terabyte, like, discs that they were, like, displaying, being like, oh, we can do this. And that was like several years ago, we're just now getting them, and I'm like, man, they've been taking their sweet ass time. Real sweet ass time. Yeah. Th that, that's what I was complaining about too, was the, uh, the fact that you have to... I believe there's a feature on the Microsoft, or on the Xbox Game Pass app, that you can turn off something to do... Oh no, no, okay, so you can turn off, you have to have the battle.net thing. But you can turn off the Xbox Game Pass app running after a first time run or something when you're running Diablo. But that's what I was mentioning, where they did this really half ass integration for Diablo instead of putting it in their own Microsoft store and blah 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 blah. They kinda half assed it through the the Blizzard or Battle.net, right? The Blizzard store or whatever. And I was just like, man, they are so lazy. There's no Xbox achievements on the PC version and it's it's just like yeah, I don't know. Xbox just kind of sucks. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's just like I'm so tired of it. And then ooh, we got the news today. Hi-Fi Rush has better shadows on PS5. Which is not a big deal, but it's also just like, really? You could at least make our games, our exclusives, run as good as they do on Xbox as they do on PlayStation. I mean, technically Xbox has a 30% power advantage on paper, but yet we still get worse features. Blows my mind. Yeah, and then we're not even getting a native app for Minecraft on Xbox, but PlayStation gets a native PS5 app, and it's just like, are you freaking kidding me? Their first party. Their first party! Am I playing multiplayer? E yep. I liked Riders Republic. I didn't play it since the launch, but I did like that one when I streamed it and checked it out. Uh, traditional hard drives, not MVMEs. Traditional hard drives. I, I wish MVME, like, I mean, MVMEs, you can get, like, what, 8 terabytes max right now? And that's, like, freaking arm and a leg. So definitely not close to getting 25 terabytes there. But, yeah, you know, just traditional storage, which is still good if you want to hold a lot of files. It's not fast, but it's still good, right? But yeah, I just remember CS, they're like, we've got 50 terabyte disks, and they showed them to me, and I was like, oh. You know, when are we going to get this actually released? And then several years later, and it's like, oh, well, it's still only 25, not even 50 terabytes, right? And it's like, ugh. I feel like those people must have felt when you could only buy like one ter or one gigabyte, and then they started to go to 10 gigabyte, and then like 50 gigabytes, and then, because that was a time, I don't, I don't know if you guys are younger or something like that, but, you know, there's also a time where you could buy like a few megabytes, and then you'd get like, 20 megabits, and then 100, and then, yeah, and then it went to gigabytes, and then terabytes, and I'm sure it'll keep growing over time, but it is funny, because it's like, I've got stuff, like these files, some of these files are so big, like I do all this video footage, and these files can be huge, I don't have the storage to like, hold all this crap. How was my day? It was okay, I got the annoying gym, but outside of that, I just kind of relaxed, filmed a couple videos, just didn't really do much, just kind of chilled. Yeah. You are authorized to engage. Only hacked lobbies. I find that you don't find hacked lobbies too often. I mean, it really doesn't matter, though, at the end of the day. The Xbox version of Hi-Fi Rush, because the console is more powerful, and because Hi-Fi Rush is a first-party game, it should look better on Xbox. Even if you're doing full parity with the platform, it should look as good as it does on PlayStation. 
we shouldn't have an inferior version of a first party game on Xbox. It just should never happen. And it, it does. Hi-Fi Rush has happened with, with the Shadows. And then Minecraft, we're having an inferior version. And it's it's just like, you know, and I, you know what's probably going to happen? I bet you CSEs will look and run better on PlayStation. Every other game, too. Yeah, they'll probably port them to other... Oh, we also had that situation where we had... Uh, what was it? Pentiment only ran at 60 FPS on Xbox and ran at 120 on PlayStation until they patched it. We get inferior products playing on Xbox. You literally get less. And it's just like, man, it really, really sucks. It's amazing. Like, would you ever expect Nintendo to put out Mario and have it running at a higher, like, performance level on another platform? This is not gonna happen. Think PlayStation would ever do that? Fuck no. Anyways, it just gets exhausting. <sighs> Maybe something's changed. No oh, man, nothing's changed on these servers. It's the same as usual. It's just luck of the draw. But most of the time, like, we stream this usually once a month. But as I said, it's been I think, a couple or a few months since we last did this one. But yeah, I don't really run into too many hackers. Occasionally there's some, but uh, it's, it's not as bad as people make it out to be, honestly. If anything, usually I get it worse, too, because you'll have them follow you around, but... Eh, it's not that bad. Get moving. How are you shooting at me, turret? You do not have the light of sight. I got him. There you go, sentry gun's gone. I forgot how useful it is having a rocket launcher to occasionally pull out of your ass. It really makes a difference. Anyways, my, my new spiel thing is Xbox equal Xbox users equal beta testers. That's that's my new feelings on it. Oh triple kill with the the strike thing, nice. I am hoping we don't get stuck on a never ending loop of just hijacked in Nuketown though. It it really drives me bonkers having to play on the same maps over and over again in this game. Like this game's got some great levels and it's like people just love the little tiny ones, they're like Oh, can't get enough of Nuketown and Hijacked. That's my life. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're good maps. Well, Hijacked, eh, it's just so, but, you know, it's like, eh. The graphics are sweet, nice. I mean, my phone's not even that old, and I feel like I'm semi-playing on a potato there. Is it still decently? This is always the most populated older COD. Yeah, this, this is always the most populated of the older ones. Steam is Steam is very likely not coming to Xbox. I wouldn't anticipate that. Yeah, I hope you had fun on your your Easter times there, Sherry. Eight megabit memory cards for the PS2. I remember the original Xbox had like what felt like unlimited storage, but in actuality, it probably wasn't that much. <laughs> but it felt endless back in the day due to how they wrote it. But yeah, it's it's just funny how like hard drives change. I had like a little summer gig job the one year when I was like out of high school. And I was like helping them like move, like clean up and move, and I was helping them deal with like these old hard drives. And there was like a box of like I think there's like 20 megabit and like one gigabyte like hard drives, like a box of like 60 of these, and we were supposed to like destroy them and stuff. And I thought it was hilarious. Hilariously, too, like literally hard drives have not changed from their design aesthetic. Like they've they've changed now that we've gone to MVMEs and they're like little sticks. But like the traditional hard drive that you like fit into your computer really has stayed largely the same the whole time through, basically, all the way back to those megabit drives. And I was like, that's pretty funny. I was just reading them. I'm like, ho ho ho, hundred megabytes. <laughs> I got a lot of storage to fit on this bad boy. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you know, that probably would have cost a lot. I remember paying, uh, I think it was like eight hundred dollars for like, I can't remember if it was a five terabyte or like a three terabyte hard drive, and then the price started going down, and I was like, ooh, but yeah, it's kind of crazy. Actually, you know what? I bought an eight gigabyte USB in like twenty tens, early 
or the late 2000s and it was like 40 or 50 bucks for like eight gigabytes and i was like or six gigabytes and i was like ooh, yeah any operator skins in this one no nah, this is classic god xbox the first with an internal hard hard drive Yeah, actually, maybe it was. I'm trying to think of another thing that had an internal hard drive other than the original Xbox, because the PS2, yeah, you had the memory cards. Hmm. Yeah, GameCube too, right? It had memory cards or something. Yeah, maybe, actually, you're right. I think the original Xbox was the first that actually had an internal drive for, for storage and stuff like that. Hmm. Interesting. See, Xbox used to be innovative. What happened? They also used to have games. Did you hear that uh, from that jazz guy? Who's got all the insider stuff, you know, he helped burn the Xbox down a lot. And then he's like, you know, anyways, so he's got the inside scoop from an Xbox executive that said, the brand is, is stressed, but not damaged. And I was like, stress sounds like a PR spin on the brand being incredibly damaged. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty damn damaged. I need to make some videos with these hot takes. It'd probably piss people off too much though, but it'd be fun. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see how there's really a difference between something being stressed and damaged. We're stressing what happens before damage. Because if you like pull. A rubber band that becomes stretched out, it's like, it's stressed, but... Well, no, that would be the same as being damaged, because it would be broken if it was split in half. But if it was, like, torn and stressed, it would be damaged. That means the same thing. <laughs> same thing. Yeah. Yeah, the, the only thing this game had was you could buy gun skins. I think this is also before it even, like, they did operator things too, right? But... Chase it down! Chase it down! Chase it down! Get it! Get it! Get it! Go! 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 No, nah, that's not gonna get it. Oh, and that wasn't even the counter UAV? Oh, that sucks. But yeah, you could buy, because I think what I have is a gun skin. This was the good old day of gun skins. You could buy a gun skin that would work on all your guns for like two dollars. It was amazing! Now you pay like 15 bucks for like one gun. That kind of looks okay. Like, I remember people thinking I was crazy. I bought all the Gears 3 skins. I paid 60 bucks in Canadian dollars back in, like, 20... Because I think they were on sale or something. Anyways, I bought them all. Because there was a pack you could buy where you get all of them. And it, it was, like... Uh, must have been, like, 20... Because it would have been after Gears 3 came out. Gears, when was Gears 3? like nine or ten or something anyways the early 2010s I'm assuming I paid 60 bucks you get 32 sets of gun skins so I paid like two dollars a gun skin for the gun skins that worked on every gun in Gears of War and now you have to pay like $25 for a character skin or $15 for a single gun skin I think I did pretty good you know for at the time right I, I think I did all right and uh, yeah, it's, it's just funny how, like, costs have just ballooned for games. And that's why I find it so weird that they're still struggling to make profits on these games. Maybe they're not making enough profit growth. But, like, the cost of these microtransactions. Because I do the math on COD. You pay, you know, is it 70 bucks, let's say, if you're in the U.S. For COD each year. And then there's four five battle passes a year. So you're paying basically twice the game. So let's say it's just 140 bucks for the game plus your battle passes. And if you buy a character skin, it's like 25 bucks for the character skin. And then if you buy any other skins or any other things, and it's like, some people are probably spending hundreds of dollars on COD every single year. That's crazy. And then you play Call of Duty Mobile, where it's like uh, Call of Duty Mobile Warzone, where you get like the full COD experience. And it's free! I was like, what is this? <laughs> I was like, this is the same maps I play on my console, but I have to pay... 80, 90 bucks Canadian for this. He's like, what the hell? <laughs> what's, what's going on? Yeah. 
yeah, it's anyways, it's been a while. Be sure to like the stream, subscribe and great, donations cool. Consider becoming a channel member. Channel member gift and the Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, chatter, great times. And the Amazon store affiliate link. Buying anything on Amazon, please use the link in the video description. See, unlike COD, my channel memberships are only like two dollars, so you can you can enjoy the magic of old COD skin prices. Yeah. This is, this is crazy to me how much this stuff has gone up. I think, I think it's still... If, if I go to the game card and stuff, I think the prices haven't changed for this, so we can actually go and like sh straight up show that off here. I'm just wondering how much they're going to do for like Game Pass stuff. Let's see. Yeah. So you can buy the ka like, Kawaii Pack or whatever. The Puncha Pack. See, they're, they're all $1.99 for these gun skins. Buck ninety nine. <laughs> This one's a dollar. The North America pack, one buck, <laughs> Canadian. <laughs> you know, it's like basically the price of a Costco hot dog for, for a set of skins. Look how cheap this is. Or you know what? Maybe not cheap, but affordable. And that's why they were called microtransactions. It was because they were small extra purchases. Yeah, the Black Ops Two Aqua Personalization Pack, a dollar ninety nine. And when it's on Game Pass, we'll get 10% off, right? Yeah. Dig. I'd actually be down for another dig play. Because uh, where, we, where, where can we see that in the game? Like, the cost of these these skins. Uh, personalized weapon. So yeah, the, the DLC. So you can pay the for the Kawaba pack. It's $1.99. It works on all your guns. So you have the Cyborg skin. So I paid, like, a 2 bucks Canadian. It was so cheap. You know, like, it costs you practically, like, nothing. You just, you buy tons of skins because it didn't cost anything. You bought some gear for Diablo 4? Dude. Please tell me you didn't buy the $40 Canadian portals. The economy was better 10 years ago? Yeah. It was. But that still doesn't, like, even with inflation and stuff, I just, I don't get how these costs have ballooned to that. Because you can't tell me it's costing that much for somebody to sit there and reskin a gun. Like, I get if you have, like, an artist, and I, I know they're artists and stuff like that, but, like, even then, at the scale at which they sell these items and that, it's just, like... The other funny thing, too, is obviously the math has told them, financially, it is better to charge more for these gun skins than it is to charge less. Because you would think, logically, smaller price point, more purchasers. Like, more people purchasing, right? Because that's why I think always for product, is I... When I think of a product and selling a product, I think cheap as possible to get it in as many hands as possible. But they have math that tells them that charging that much for those gun skins and stuff works. And, uh, I mean, you guys can all sit there and put your hands up for how many expensive characters you've probably bought in the new CODs, and... Yeah, it works. Hmm. But yeah, I, I used to have a, was a couple mobile games that I did on Android. And I had like a game where you played as bread. And I know you're joking, but my bread game had like over 50,000 downloads. Actually, I think it had more like 100,000 by the end of it. But anyways, I, I charged pretty decent prices for all my stuff. Like my pieces of bread, they didn't take very long. I charged like a buck or two. I didn't feel bad about it. I actually felt pretty good about charging the smaller amount, but... Yeah, it's, it's just crazy to me how much the prices have gone up. And I, I guess if you're younger, that's just how much the prices cost. But, you know, I remember being younger and being, like, you know, affordable, right? I remember the big price being the uh, the DLC. So I guess technically we subsidize the DLC by buying characters that cost more. But yeah, the DLC packs for, what, 15 bucks for this? Which, honestly, not bad, right? You get five maps, three multi- or four multiplayer and uh, zombies? That's, that's not bad at all. Yeah. Now you just get soaked to battle pass on top of the character skins, on top of the gun skins. And, ugh, just kills you. Can I use the AN-94? I could, but I just like the Peacemaker, so I'm not going to. They charge away because you'll pay for them. Exactly. Was kind of the point I was making. Eight ninety nine. Well, I hope you enjoy that. Oh, hi, hi there, cats, cats, and only cats. Meow, meow to you. 
My instant gratification generation. Me? Hostile UAV above. Hmm. This is obsolete. Well, I mean, the, you know, it's... You know, it's, it's a game that came out in 2012, so, I mean, that's not like there's going to be a lot of... A lot of people playing this anymore. I mean, <laughs> the, the game is, is ancient, right? Like... Ah, uh, that guy's got the weird coloring on his name that usually means they're cheating. But, like, saying obsolete, I mean, it's still a good game. It's still fun. It's just not new, so, you know, it's just not as many people playing it. But it's odd to call an old game obsolete. There's no reason for it. It's still enjoyable. And it's fun to do a throwback stream, you know? It, it takes me back to that, uh, that simple place when I was younger. Although I really didn't play that much of this one. I was I was more into COD 4, Black Ops 1, World at War. You know, it was Black Ops 2. It's it, it was great and all, but I wasn't... You know, like a lot of people, they act like Black Ops 2 is like the holy grail of CODs. But I'm like, I, I don't even remember that many of my friends being like fully into this one back in the day. But, uh, yeah, it's interesting how that changes over time, the perception of things. Hmm. But yeah, I am kind of wondering if when Xbox, like, actually puts these on Game Pass, I wonder if they're going to make the DLC free, because I'm expecting a price drop on COD games, kind of like Bethesda stuff. Like, when Bethesda got bought, a lot of, like, $60 Bethesda games became $20 Bethesda games. So I'm expecting something like that for COD. I don't know if it as much, but... And I'm wondering if they're gonna at least... Like, I guess I'd be fine if they kept the prices the same for the main game, but made the DLC free would be pretty cool. We'll have to wait and see, because it's just, like, the player communities for these older CODs get so goddamn segmented because people don't own the DLC, and it's... Yeah, I've been a plague. I mean, like, I sit there and I'm like, I'm not paying $10 for a map pack for, like, World at War, I'm missing one map pack, but I'm like, I'm not paying 10 bucks for it. Because the game's ancient, it's like, no, this is not going to do that. Hmm. It's crazy talk, right? The Terminator calls himself obsolete. Well, I mean, he was, uh, he was an obsolete model, you know, the, the T-1000 was just so much cooler. He was liquid metal, yo. Remember that god-awful Terminator Genesis that he, like, upgraded himself to, like, the T-1000 liquid metal technology? You know your age based on what caught. It's about when you turn, I think, uh, 12 or 13 seems to determine what people's favorite cod is growing up. That seems to be about the age. Because all of, okay, so all of my friends got into cod later. I got into cod for, like, Call of Duty 3 and Call of Duty 4. But a lot of my friends really got into COD during uh, Modern Warfare 2 and I think Black Ops 2 as well. And they were like, they were into it a little later than I was, which I thought was interesting. Ten lobbies and he put me in the lobby with this one guy. Yeah, okay. Just, just a, a like a good verbiage thing, guys. If, if you are playing this game and you're in a lobby with, with one person or by yourself, back out and research because other people get trapped with you. It's just a courteous thing to do. I don't like the shield guys. I hate riot shielders in COD. They are the plague of my existence. You can burn them. <laughs> yeah. You're getting drunk tomorrow, Veylander? Well, why not start today? Straight spring is still pleasant. I don't even care, man. I've had the warmest winter ever here. I'm just... What? Where did everybody go? Yeah, I don't even care if it's snowing right now. The fact that winter has been so warm, like, it's been so, like, literally, like, shorts weather all year, like, crazy, is, like, I don't even care how cold it is or if there's snow right now. Don't give a damn. Good Friday, but Resurrection Sunday. Is that what they call it? What day is actually Easter? Is it Easter Sunday? Because I know there's, like, an Easter Monday, and then there's the Good Friday. But, like... Which day is actually Easter Day? You know, like the actual Easter Bunny comes, drops the eggs down. You know what I mean? That's what I'm kind of curious. I always forget. I think it's Easter Sunday, right? Yeah. 
same age. It's, it's, it's a good question how old I am, you know? A lot of people wonder. It's actually my Google result. You can search you know, Sky Captain 5, it says Sky Captain 5, and it says Sky Captain 5 and 8, and it's kind of funny. Yeah. Ooh, Black Ops 2, not even that hot. Maybe the streaming is a dying. That's life. Easter Sunday. So Easter Sunday is the day with the eggs. Because I don't think the eggs are the religious part of it, right? They're just eggs. Chocolate eggs. Hmm. Well, see, the thing is, with Fallout New Vegas, I can see them... Well, I mean, they haven't added the DLC to Game Pass, so they're not going to. But I think the difference is with COD, it's like Call of Duty, you need the multiplayer like the DLC to do the multiplayer stuff, otherwise you get like kicked from matches or it doesn't really function properly. Whereas like Fallout New Vegas, the DLC is, you know, secondary content, right? Like it's not really required for the game, if that makes sense. So I can see why they would charge for DLC because they still charge for like, uh, with Shivering Isles and stuff for Oblivion and they're, they're never gonna change that. But I'm saying for COD, I could see them doing it because you get situations like World at War where it's like, oh, you don't have the DLC and it kicks people and it like it just breaks up the, the communities playing the multiplayer. That I think is the big difference between making like a single player story thing free DLC wise for Game Pass as opposed to charging for it. Because you don't need the DLC in Fallout New Vegas. It'd be nice to have, but you don't need it. Whereas in COD it really is quite functionally needed. Yeah, a little difference there. Chocolate is good every day. Yeah, I know, but they're just, like, you know, the day you're supposed to, for the kids, you bring out the chocolate eggs and they look for it. me some chocolate. I ate my chocolate eggs for this year. Too much. Too much. Easter Bunny is to cover up the real meaning of... I don't know, it's just, Easter Bunny is just like a fun thing. I, I like the whole whole chocolates and Easter thing. I always, always enjoyed that when I was younger. You know what? I was supposed to go out for like an Easter drinking thing with some pals, and I don't think that's happening. I think they forgot. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm starting to think they forgot. That's why you, when you're older you don't schedule things with people until like the date of because they forget. The giant chocolate bunny? Yeah, they do these big chocolate bunnies and stuff. That's where I was eating my chocolate eggs. I don't know if you guys saw those videos where I was talking about it, but... What the hell just happened there? Did he blast me off the ledge? The heck, why, why was I flying on my... Anyways, whatever. Yeah, that's why I had that big bag of chocolates, because they were on sale at Costco, and I usually grab it each year. It was good. Yeah, those chocolate eggs, friggin' awesome, but like, ugh. Yeah, like, like I said, I have a cr crippling chocolate addiction. It's like... Literally, if I get chocolate, I just I gotta eat all of it at like one go. I just can't stop. Other food, like literally, no no problem with like, you know, choosing how much of something to eat. But like chocolate, I just really fucking love. Can't get enough of it. Really, just can't get enough of it. Kinder eggs, Kinder eggs are great. They ever get those in the states? They they used to the the Kinder eggs were banned from the states because they had a toy in it. Those American children can't handle toys inside of food. Which is mind-blowing to me, but you know, I, I get it. Kinder Surprise are fun, by the way. Very, very fun. Yeah. You decree the Raging Toaster in New Vegas. Well, you, you get what I mean, though. It's like the multiplayer gets disrupted if the DLC is not available. Zero tooth fillings? I, I don't know if tooth fillings necessarily indicate necessarily chocolate usage and stuff, but you know, all to their own. There's correlations, of course, though. 
I'm this guy trying to jump down and shoot people. Get the hell out of here with that. I like the smiley face in this one. Now I was kind of hoping I'd get him with a rocket shot. Should we use the tar? Ah, damn it! Come on, teammate, you gotta throw me a bone out there and kill that guy. We've lost the advantage. We lost the advantage. The advantage was all we had. Oh, come on. Do you guys know this is a remake of a Black Ops 1 map? Well, now you do, and knowing it's half the battle. G.I. Joe. For f God damn it, that pistol's killing me. Tooth to There's lots of reasons that Tooth Decay can be a thing, yeah. A strawberry milkshake with a hot dog? Have I ever been to a 1960s malt shop? No, I have not, sorry. <laughs> It'd be cool if there was like a malt shop. Fucking dude! I was doing so well, now I'm just getting like friggin' shot up on this. Oh, come on. Yeah, no, it'd be cool to go to like a retro malt shop. They don't really have those around though. Best we have is like, uh, what is it? Uh, I can't remember the name of it right now. Heritage Park, I'd, I'd love to do a video there someday for you guys. It's like a park that does like 1800s up to like the 1940s of uh, Canada and, and Calgary, and you can go and visit old houses and stuff and learn all that kind of stuff about like, they have like actors and stuff there, and you can go buy old time ice cream and stuff. It's awesome, actually. It'd be fun to do like a video there or something. Stream. But usually when I go, it's like, you know, I'm going there just to enjoy it and all that stuff. It's very pricey. Yeah. Because of children. Well, that, where do you think those rules came from about having toys inside of food? It's because of children. That's, that's where those rules came from. Yeah. And in Canada, we joke about American children being idiots because they can have food inside of, or toys inside of food. <laughs> that's it's it's literally like a, a thing we've I've joked about my my whole life and other people from Canada and other parts of the world joke about is like American children being too stupid because they can't have toys and food. Yeah. It's probably mean, but you know, it's, it's a joke, right? Yeah. Yeah, the choking hazard and stuff like that. Cuz the US they have a rule where you can't have toys inside of food products and stuff. But that's, that's a joke we make in Canada land. In the land of Canada. The land beyond lands. Leave no one alive. Leave no one alive? You don't want to take any hostages? Okay. Ow. Really? I'm glad you guys are choosing me for your entertainment tonight, though. I know Mystery Science Theater is a very compelling, uh, you know, stream to have to be countering, but I do my best. Yeah. Anyways, uh, lots of fun. Kinder eggs are cool. Chocolate's cool. Nowadays, I buy they they got you know the big bags, and it's like the chocolate eggs in them. A milkshake in an old American diner. Right? Like an old malt shop, I think, would be a lot of fun to have like an old school milkshake in. As I said, it would be really cool. I wonder if I could like chat with Heritage Park about doing something like that, going in and doing like a stream at the event or at the place and kind of like sharing it with people would be a lot of fun. I don't know what their rules and stuff are. I think it would be kind of a, a cool thing to do, honestly. Because then you could probably stage things, too, to have things, like, set up while you're streaming, and then, I, I don't know, it would be kind of a, a neat event. I don't know how the battery would go, but I guess you'd get, like, an external battery pack and stuff, and... Eh, it would be kind of a cool thing. I'll keep that in the, the memory banks for cool, weird ideas of things to do. We've lost the advantage. Usually I take photos and stuff when I go. Root beer floats are delicious. They really are, yeah. I always used to do that when I or get that when I went to my grandmother's. We we'd get floats there. 
As I've grown up, I like uh, alcohol floats. Those are those are fun. <laughs> Don't do those too often, but they're they're kind of fun. It's because the, the the price of ice cream is so expensive now. Yeah, dairy products are freaking crazy. Ah, for uh, yeah. Anyways, it's been a while. Be sure to uh, consider liking that there stream. Subscribing's great. Donations cool. Consider becoming channel member, channel member gifted, the Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, chatter, okay times, and the Amazon store affiliate link. Grab anything on Amazon, use the link in the video description. Hmm. Oh, I heard uh, King Kong there is doing really well at the box office too. Yeah, because I tracked the box office for the walls. Poor Ghostbusters is getting smashed, but uh, yeah, Godzilla's doing Godzilla vs. Kong's doing great numbers. They call those movies uh, critic proof. But yeah, I, I think we're gonna get another one because that one is opening so strongly. Orange cream soda with vanilla ice cream? Oh, Caleb knows exactly what's up. Yeah, the creamsicle stuff. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, creamsicle floats and yeah. I hate snipers. Did I ever tell you guys I hate snipers in God? I really do. Not as much as I hate people with riot shields, but, you know. Never get lights, you give me an epileptic shock on that one. Cream soda in Canada is not the same as the US. Really? We have tiger ice cream here. Barely. It's, they're trying to get rid of it, actually. Uh, cream, is creamsicle different here? There, there are variations in food, subtle ones, and uh, you're never sure. What's different between Canada and U.S. food? We talk about it all the time on streams, but... Yeah, you're never really sure what the differences are until you, like, bring it up or talk about it, right? I'm pissed because we lost the, uh... We, we closed that not too long ago. We lost the, uh... Those, those foods, the zebra cakes. We lost the zebra cakes in Canada. I'm pissed. I didn't even realize they were gone. Zebra cakes and the, the Christmas trees. Uh, they they pulled out of the country the uh, whatever her name is little Debbie or whatever they pulled out of Canada I was like you monster I was like no wonder I haven't had zebra cakes in years <laughs> it's like although I know the quality was declining in them but still you know it's like I believe they left us as a sniper yeah it's just not my thing I do, I detest the snipers in this hmm even Black Ops Two is suffering I think it's just a bad stream time. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I really thought, though, as you gain more subs, you would have larger stream stuff. But I guess you gain subs for videos throughout the day, not necessarily streaming numbers. This is a weird business being in, honestly. Very competitive, weird business. We have taken control. Alright, let's roll. I'm glad Forever Skies did pretty good, though. I always get worried when I do sponsored stuff. Yeah, little Debbie's, they freaking, they left us. I, I love my zebra cakes. And I, next time I'm in the States, I'm going to have to go out of my way to buy a pack of zebra cakes. As odd as that is. It's going to be like uh, an excursion next time I go, go to the U.S. Is to go to like a Walmart and buy some zebra cakes. <laughs> freaking Christ. Uh, I'll be acting like it's like some kind of lost relic when I'm I'm at the till. I'll be like... The holy zebra cakes. Forever have thou gone without thee. <laughs> They'll be like, mm, okay, sir. That'll be seven ninety nine. I'll be like, okay. Yeah. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Well, I think it was a Canadian show, wasn't it? Grenadine cream soda. Really? Pineapple crush and birch crush. Hmm. 
yeah, zebra cakes are banging. So apparently the Canada quality of zebra cakes went down. Less people bought them and they pulled out of the country. Just like Target. I've, I've, I've told this before, but I, I passionately hate Target. Because Target was like this cool thing where there's... I remember like I, when I was growing up, I'd go to like a flea market. And I was like... There, there's this guy and he'd always have all these toys and these figures and stuff. And you'd have the Target exclusive Star Wars stuff. And that'd be big because it was from the States, right? We didn't have it in Canada. And then what Target did is we had this company called Zellers, and Zellers was like an uh, institution in Canada for, for decades. Target came in, bought all the Zellers stuff, gave us nothing exclusive, nothing cool, overpriced products, barely had any inventory, came into Canada, destroyed all the Zellers, and then pulled out, and now we have like these big empty lots all over the country. Yeah, I, I think Target's like one of the worst companies ever because they just ruined a, a part of Canadian stores. It's, it's crazy. Like, actually, just like a god awful company. <laughs> Edmund's chocolate donuts. You know what I really like? Have you guys ever had? There's these cookies. They're like sugar cookies. But they, they're like they're like a special type of sugar cookie where they're like a sugar cookie that's really soft. And on the top, they have like a frosting kind of thing. I don't know what the brand would be called, but they're incredible sugar cookies. And they're terrible for you, but they're amazing. Because they're like, they're not like hard sugar cookies. They're like. Really good soft sugar cookies. See, that's why I miss the YouTube stories. You know, in another time, I'd be able to sit there and take a photo and be like, this is what we're talking about, guys. I really can't do that. Hmm. Ah, oh, damn it. Star Crunch? They never did any research. Well, yeah, Target just came in and they just half-assed it in Canada to the highest degree. I was like, oh my god, we're gonna get like Target exclusive stuff in that in Canada. Never came. Products overpriced. Then when he went to Target, they never had anything to buy. Their shelves were always empty. And uh, yeah, it, it sucked. Target screwed Canada really badly. Really, really badly. I bought a shovel there. One time I got stuck in a parking lot for an LRT because I was doing school, like, uh, I was doing my post-secondary, so I had to, like, you know, use the train to get downtown, and then my car got stuck in a lot in the ice and stuff, so I had to go buy a shovel. The only thing I ever bought from Target was a shovel. And even then, they didn't have options because the shells are so empty, and it was like, ah, oh, it's terrible. <laughs> Just terrible. But the one nice thing about Canada in the snow, if you get stuck or in the ice or snow, people will help you out. Yeah. Track Numerous times I've been stuck and people give me a hand. It's great. It's a very courteous, common thing you can do in Canada. Yeah, I see that sniper shot go by. Hmm. Damn it. Ugh. <sighs> You ate those Toki cookies, they taste like pure sugar, but they're so good. They're so good. They're light and colored beige. I, I think I think you know what I'm talking about, Caleb. They're heavenly. <laughs> it's the best I can describe them. They are my favorite kinds of cookies, I think. In Costco, we're going to be getting, apparently, and I've got the inside word on this at the Costco in Canada, apparently we're getting the cookies. I'm very excited. So these cookies have been in the U.S., these, these chocolate cookies. And they're really large, and apparently they make you super sick, but they taste incredible. So when that happens, I'll make a, a YouTube Shorts video of me enjoying the magic of the uh, the Costco cookie, and I will I will present it to you guys. Loft House cookies are they? You worked at a Fortune 500 companies. American marketing is completely different from Canadian. Well, of course it is. I mean, from not only the perspective of what Canadians demand, but also from the perspective of literally we have like a different language that you have to market for, right? Because there is the French part of Canada, and you have to have that in your marketing materials. Like on all your products, you gotta have French, like, you know, writing and stuff on the labels and everything. So that alone makes the market completely different between the US and the American markets. But yeah, then there's all the final micro or minor cultures and stuff too between the two are completely different. And it's just like, yeah, it's, some companies, they just get so overconfident in assumptions in that. It's like, it is a little different in Canada by being a lot different. You 
Similar, but you know, entirely unique. Yeah. Very niche. Yeah, we're we're pretty niche. Oh, pretty nice. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so that's a niche. Loft house cookie. Let me look this up. Loft house cookies. Loft house cookies. They are. They're called loft house cookies. You are very right, Cambion. You are very right. Those those are exactly the cookies I was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me get a picture here for you guys. These. These cookies are the cookies I'm talking about, and they are amazing. Yeah. This is someone broke down. There's no way you're helping. Well, it's, it's just I've noticed. Well, it's not really breaking down. I don't think people would really help each other if they've like broken down. It's more like if you're stuck in the snow, people will come and help you out. I think that's a little different from being like your car is broken down, if that makes sense. Because it's something I think a lot of people in Canada deal with, is their vehicle just being stuck in the snow at some point or another, and then some other people just giving you like a rock or a push or something. Yeah. I feel like you haven't really mastered your car until you've gotten yourself out of a, a snow drift or like an ice thing. Like your car is like stuck in the ice or the snow and you get yourself out of it. Like, cause there's like a, like a method you use to kind of rock your car in and out of the grooves to get out. and. Yeah, it's, it's like a it's like a thing, and sometimes you just can't. You need others to help you, but it is uh, kind of funny. That that's when I feel like you've really mastered your vehicle, though, is when you're able to get out of like snow ice sticking, and yeah, it's a whole thing. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Those are exactly the cookies I was talking about. Loft house cookies. That's funny. Hmm. Politely ask Canadians and never push. Oh yeah, it's the pushing thing. Yeah, the pushing thing really pisses people off here. Hmm. It, it's different levels of attitude. I do find for what I do though, for like videos and stuff, a lot of my kind of thing for selling people on stuff is more like I find on YouTube I reinforce what people already want, or I give them suggestions on things. But like a lot of the times for product reviews, particularly like TVs and stuff, I'm more reinforcing someone's idea of what they already want, or what they're already looking for, as odd as that sounds. But yes, there's different uh, interest in people for what they buy and how they how you market things in different countries. Cooking simulator. Oh my god. How many sims am I gonna have to do? I, you know, like honestly, like I've had to flip houses, be a chef, be a, a cook. Like you know, I've I've done so many simulator jobs in the last few years. It was ridiculous. The Putin console. You know, if that was available to kind of buy, I would kind of be like morbidly curious to see how it is. Like, who's gonna release games for like a, a Russian-only console? Like, honestly. The, the, that's like the whole thing I don't fundamentally understand. And consoles aren't even a big business. I just, I, I really don't get it. Fancy girl or a deli chocolate. You know what I really like is that Lindel chocolate. Oh my god, those Lindel chocolate balls. Freaking kill me. When I go to the one mall and they have the, the Lindel shop, I just go, oh, Some good chocolate. Really good chocolate. Oh, hey, city, how you doing? 17 months. Man, you guys are sticking around for a long time. Which I always appreciate. I always appreciate the long-term members. I really need to get better at attracting some new people into the streams, though. I, I do notice that we don't do a good enough job of, like, bringing in some new folks to be long-term stream folks. We get the occasional people, but, yeah. Usually the regulars, which I appreciate. Buy or die? <laughs> Buy or die. I think that guy's cheating. What a fucking loser. Was that KSL7? Jeez, that's a terrible cluster F of a name. Okay, one sec here. KSL. Because you always got to report people on the new Xbox, otherwise Xbox doesn't do anything. I mean, Xbox doesn't do anything regardless. They just give away their games and they kill their own platform. Pop, 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 pop. 
ba 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 Cheating. No, there's no... Why would... Why, on, on Xbox, how often does a child sexual exploitation or abuse come up? This, this thing is ridiculous. It's like they're cheating. Okay, but are they really a terrorist? No! <laughs> like, like, what? The launch with Atomic Heart 2? Shower with your dad simulator. That can't be a thing. Did that guy leave? Hey, the cheater left. I think, right? I think the cheater left. All right, let's let's get back into the action. It's so funny. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, these like Black Ops Two streams used to be such hot fire for me. Those were the days, man. Those were the days. The day's gone. I got that guy. Not Jayuza. Barrel joint? Okay. Hmm. I do wish it was nicer this weekend, though. I'd love to go on some walks and stuff. It's like, yeah, this the amount of snow just kills it. UAV inbound. Hmm. For a second there, I thought it was a Claymore on the floor. UAV. It has stars on Steam and only a dollar. What has stars in Steam is only a dollar. Oh, that game? The, the shower with your dad? Mid-30s? Oh, vey. I thought you were older than they. I thought we were you were framed as like this ancient person. Mid thirties. Oh my god. He's dead, man. Old people cookies. Oh. Yeah, my, my best days are behind me. As long as I live to see Book Snacks too, it's all worth it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's bug snacks. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to think what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Like, obviously, I'm gonna watch Curb Your Enthusiasm, but I can't really think of anything else I need to do. It'll probably be a busy day because no one will be working or anything. And uh... yeah, I, I really just don't know what I'm gonna do. Series X Pro. No, like there's gonna be that white Series X. I think this is all but confirmed now. The digital only Series X that's white. And then Xbox is supposed to do a handheld this year. Uh, Xbox, they're not doing a mid gen refresh because they so pitifully lost this gen. They're gonna be doing a, a next gen in 2026. So they've kind of just given up on the Series X S. And they're just gonna try for a new Xbox in 2026. And that'll probably be their last hardware release before they give up. Because they've torched their brand. We're losing this fight. Yeah. Yeah, I thought Baylander was way older. Jeez. Mid 30s. <sighs> barely older than I am. Well, you got quite a few years on me, but still, I'm barely older. Here I am sitting here assuming the Veylanders and it's like 60s or something. More women on my streams. We actually got quite a few. We got Zimbits, uh, you got Sherry, uh, there's Zar, there's uh... And that's it. <laughs> Grace, if she ever crawls out of the weird, weird place in the state she lives to say hello, but uh... Yeah. That's, that's basically all, yeah. I don't have that uh, that pop star look that attracts the the ladies sadly to the streams. I need to sound more seductive. The mummy returns more like the likes on the stream return. Be sure to like the stream. Subscribing's great. Donations cool. Consider becoming a channel member. Channel member gifted the Patreon option. The Discord for stream alerts chatter.
and aggressively below average to okay times. There's also the Amazon Starfleet link. Grab anything on there, use the link in the video description. I, I don't even know if Xbox realizes the damage they've done to their brand over a couple of months. It's kind of hilarious. Because, like, I've, I've, you know, I, I look at the chatter of, like, people, and I look at the comments of people and stuff like that, and um, the positivity that Xbox had going on has just, like, vanished. They've really just killed themselves. It's, it's weird. Honestly, it's a very, very strange situation. I don't even know if I can personally recommend even grabbing an Xbox at this point. I, I don't really see the value in it. Sadly. Sadly. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I kind of want a 5090 this year if they do it. I look fine. Well, that's nice. You know, with these incredibly hardcore beauty standards that I have to live up to. <laughs> But you gotta have that distinct look to really hit with the young women. I just don't have that kind of thing. You also gotta be like cultally chariz charismatic in order to do crazy numbers on the YouTube, I've noticed. It's really random, honestly. Some people like have that kind of thing and some people don't. And some people do okay. And I do okay. But like, you know what I mean? To like really get to those high levels, like you've gotta have some kind of thing that really draws people in. Damn it, I didn't get out of there. You're going to get you were gonna get an Xbox, but you're not sure. What do you play on, Sherry? Do you, do you have like a PlayStation or something? It's just like, yeah, I have like no confidence in the Xbox brand anymore. They they killed it entirely. I'm at the point where I'm just like recommending a PC or like a PlayStation. Just wait till we do the spring sale next week and I get my three uh don't buy an Xbox jokes. The irony of being one of the people that specifically covers a lot of Xbox stuff and not even, like, really liking the brand anymore is just weird irony to a terrible degree. It makes me uncomfortable sometimes, honestly. Because I know people don't like it. Xbox Brooklyn. Uh, they're, uh, wasn't Brooklyn the Refresh Series X? They're, they're, I don't think they're doing that anymore, right? You have a 1S. Oh. So you might want an upgrade and see so you get something a little better out of it performance wise. I mean if the next gen console is coming in 2026 and you play all the games on the Xbox One, you might as well just keep going with it, right? Nah, it's, it's just, it's weird, honestly. Went from really excited this gen to just like, it's worse than ever. If you can buy a cool PC though, like, PCs are awesome, they play like, everything, and then mods, and fun. The only thing though is like, for a PC you gotta be able to like, set up settings, and it's, it's more involved, work-wise, yeah. Uh, Phil Spencer killed the Xbox. You do have your new PC? Oh, there you go. You're too lazy to time people out. You know, it's like you guys, you moderators, you, you do like, the bare minimum. <laughs> That's that's the thing that kills me is like the moderators is like you know with the skybot and the uh, the fact you have to be like a subscriber to be able to chat for so long it's like I've taken all the work away from the moderators. Yeah, you guys barely get any hinge cases anymore. You, you barely have any moderating to do. Breaks my heart. I know how much you guys love moderating things. Oh, damn it. Oh, and good thing we never made, what is it, Tobias a, a moderator? Wasn't it Tobias that wanted to be a moderator? Good thing we never did that with his weird freak out vanish. That was odd. I think we were talking about that yesterday. That was so weird. Yeah. Xbox One games being shut down? Well, the Xbox One games, they have the same pool as the Series XS stuff. And if you're on the Xbox One and you have the Game Pass Ultimate, you can just stream the Series XS games to your Xbox One. So it's like you're not even missing a gem. Golf War? Well, it has the longest development ever, so, you know, it should be shaping up to be pretty good, I hope. A Golem 2. I don't know if I could emotionally handle a Golem 2. 
NVIDIA's, well, NVIDIA just makes great stuff. I, I know there's optimization and stuff, but, like, there is, I don't know, every time I get a PC game, I feel like I have to sit there and really fiddle with things to get things right. It takes less and less time in the modern era, but it's still, like, I'm constantly just turn on and play it, right? At least I think so. I, too, am stoked for Golf War. COD is a huge part of my yearly, uh, views and stuff. So I hope it's good. I hope it's good. Your cousin in Calgary. Ooh, I heard that's a pretty cool place. Built a PC, nice. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm, the more and more I'm thinking of it, I'm kind of cozying up the idea of getting a 5090. I just, I don't know what you do with your 4090. Do you try to sell it to somebody? Usually what happens is I wait a long period of time, and I build a new PC, and I just shove my old PC off to my sister. But, like, I feel like it's almost iterative going from 4090 to 5090, unless I want to rebuild everything, but... I don't know if I necessarily need a new CPU. I could get a new CPU, but I don't need one. Then I'd have to get a new motherboard, right, because the new CPUs run off of a new motherboard configuration for the 2024 line. Yeah. Team deathmatch. But I'm really hoping Golf War is good because I'm scared of being stuck with Black Ops games I don't enjoy for two years in a row. Because that would be nightmare fuel for me, but we'll we'll see what happens. I mean I survived Cold War, I'm sure I can survive anything, but I am terrified. Cause like I do genuinely enjoy the Modern Warfare games, like the recent ones. And then, like, to go to something like Cold War, which I did not enjoy, but for two years in a row would be, like, crazy for me. I would probably lose my mind. But then again, I mean, you know, the end of this year and then the next year after, who, who knows how life is going to be at that point, too, right? Things can radically change. And the Xbox was all sunshine and rain shows as we went through the rain shows. Rainbows as we went through the whole Activision Blizzard court case. I kind of miss that intrigue. I don't know if you guys do, but I, I kind of miss the fun of us for like, I think it was like a year and a half or two years straight. Every day, like stream wise and stuff, it would be like in depth conversations about like the status of the court cases and everything. And it was like we were doing court procedurals for like a year and a half or two. It was crazy. One day things are looking good, the next day they're not. And it's uh, always edge of your seat action. Hmm. The Cold War? Cold War was the worst COD I'd ever played until I played, well, the Smart or not the Smart Marvel Warfare 3 2. I would say the Cold, like, it, I think people that like the Cold War campaign are people that never played the first Black Ops, because the Cold War campaign is a pitiful recreation of that. And I mean, like, a pitiful recreation. Of the original Black Ops. Like, pathetically pitiful version of it. Go play Black Ops 1's campaign. It's way better, and it's basically the same thing. Like, way better. Yeah. Hmm. Baylander getting cranky at his old age? Well, his best years are behind him. You take the 4090 off my hands? Not for free, you wouldn't. If you give it to you for free, you guys are killing me. Will I buy a PS5 Pro? Maybe. But, like, who buys a 4090? And it's like, would I have to deal with really weird people that are trying to buy it, but, like, are joking and don't want to pay much for a 4090? Because I know a 4090 is still worth a lot. Especially in Canada land. Because I paid... What, what did I pay for? Like, 2300 So it's gotta still be worth, like, a good chunk of, you know, change and stuff. But, like, I don't know. I'd still rather actually my sister have it. Although she has my 20... No, she doesn't have my 2060 Ti, does she? Oh, no, I had a 2080 Ti. What, what did she get? Ah, I think she has my 2080 Ti, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. She just plays League of Legends, though, so it probably isn't really needed. I've also come up with the idea of using a secondary PC as, like, a recording PC, but... Good work. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. Confirm. Cold War Zombies is your favorite? <sighs> I hate Cold War so much. <laughs> that whole thing is just depressing to me. 
Like, it really, really is just, like, from the zombies to the campaign to the multiplayer. I, I really don't like that one. Sherry, have you played, like, traditional zombies? Like, traditional zombies is so much better. It's so, so much better. I'm almost disappointed. Like, well, I, I am actually really disappointed that we never got Joel in this year to do a Black Ops 1 zombie stream. We, we usually do it every Christmas, so yeah. Yes, bless my sister with it. I think, like, giving her, like, a f super ass expensive PC configuration. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I have to upgrade my power supply. Yeah, I feel like I uh, didn't honestly put a big enough power supply on my PC. It's a big mistake not buying an even more expensive one. I was trying to cheap out, though, because I had spent $6,000 on this PC, and I was like, if we can get away with a lower power supply, we should try to do that. Because it's just like, man, when you, when you get up to that price point, you're just like, freaking hell, dude. It's like a portion of a car. It's a great PC, do not get me wrong, but it's just like... It's like, holy crap, man. Sniper lobby? Yeah, no, thank you. I don't want to play in a modded sniper lobby. They're like drown in a river. Yeah. You've never seen me play Cold War? Well, you weren't around then. We, we streamed, like, I was doing streaming when Cold War was a thing, so we would stream Cold War when it was out. And uh, I didn't love it. I liked the mall map. The mall map was fun. Yeah, I did like the mall level. But, uh, yeah, you, you just weren't around then, Sherry. Like, uh, we we started streaming, I think, just before Cold War. And, yeah, I would cover the Cold War updates as we would do streams of it. Just like we do now with Modern Warfare 3, too, right? When there's new seasons and everything. But just a lot less because I didn't like Cold War. Got a threat. I think there's actually, like, a celebratory stream where I uninstall Cold War from my hard drive. Like, like, I literally think that's a thing on the channel. A day job? In this economy? Hmm. Okay. 6,000 is crazy? Well, it's for work. I use it every single day. It's a big part of my work. Every bit of money I put in my PC saves me time. You know, how fast I render videos, how good my videos look, everything like that. It's an essential part of my work. And also, if anybody complains about, like, doing console stuff, I'd be like, I have a great PC. <laughs> but I always do that. I, you know, I buy a top-of-the-line PC at whatever the time is, and then I assume it's going to last me years and years and years. Although I've gone to that sick addiction point where I'm like, oh, well, if I can afford it, I'll upgrade my PC all the time. And it's just like, ugh. But yeah, it's an investment in my work. I'm still writing it off every year. It's got depreciating value. <laughs> Under the Canadian tax law, you uh, you write off a bit of it, and then you save a bit of it for the next year, and then the next year, and then you just keep writing it off until it's not worth anything. I think the math on it, I get to write it off for like six years or something. It's crazy. Actually crazy. Speaking of which, I still need to do my my taxes and pay them. I just need to input it on the machine, and I'm going to have to pay, like, a lot of money in taxes. But at least we get good health care and social programs here, I guess. Ugh. Taxes kill me, man. I feel like my government doesn't do enough for me for me to have to pay so much in taxes. I know that sounds weird, but I feel like they don't do enough, honestly. I feel like they don't really earn it. <laughs> They're lazy. That dirt bike? Yeah, I'm not huge into that. Pines? The mall pines? Yeah, I like the mall map in that one. Yeah, I, I like my PC. It's really nice. It does Starry Night and everything like that. I'm going to have to unplug the old capture card, I think, though, because it's just taking power. Or I might leave it in because it does shiny lights, but yeah, I don't really need it now that I've got the incredible 4KX review coming eventually. An i7? You should get yourself an i9. They're really not that expensive. The i9s are, are like $700, always, I've noticed. The um, i9, I have the i9-13900K. Before that, I had the i9... 7900K? 
99, no, the, I had the i9 9900K. Now I have the i9 3900K and the i9 1500K. Or 1500K is coming out this year. But it'll be, I think the naming scheme is changing. But they're always 700 Canadian dollars, so they're pretty cheap for CPUs and stuff, I think, and performance wise, they're really good. Yeah. Anyways, I like my PC. I'm happy about it. I put my money into it. It's for my work. I'm happy. It does what it needs to do. I'm every single day. It's awesome. I love it. Mm hmm. No. Yeah. No complaints. Seriously. It's been great. To Yemen we go. Team Deathmatch. Team Deathmatch. Man, they need to get this, this game pass drop for these games done. It's driving me crazy. I mean, it really isn't that bad. Like, it's it's pretty affordable. Like, I think the CPUs are pretty decent. Like, my Intel stuff. I was also doing the math on it, though. Like, if I buy a house, this will probably be my last super high-end PC, I think. It all depends. The house pricing is ridiculous. Like I said, I just need to find a decent gal that's got a good, a decent amount of money, and I can be pretty set. I need the bare minimum. The bare minimum. Hmm. UAV inbound. Maybe tomorrow I'll make it like a writing day and I'll catch up on some review writing. I'm just trying to think of like things I'm gonna do tomorrow. Cause it's gonna be like a noisy day, so I won't be able to do like work and I'll just be kinda sitting around there. Working, but not like doing, you know, video stuff. Hmm. Man, it's Sunday, so I'm not doing them all day because that'd be crazy. Oh come on. Hmm. I can't see anything because my HUD. Well, I mean, I can see everything, but my HUD's been messed up. I'm nothing without my HUD. Like, what am I playing? Hardcore mode? Hmm. I know, right? We gotta attract some new exciting people to come into the stream and bring their perspectives and intrigue. I miss the fun of the, the COVID kind of stream years. We would get like an easy, like, like honestly, like the, the Black Ops streams, they used to do like two or three times as amount of viewers, honestly, back in the day. Ugh. Although I think the hype for Xbox is a little higher too. Oh look, it's the Czar caster. Czar plus one, am I right? Or is it Czar plus a half? UAV inbound. Look at his problem. I almost regret not doing the uh, the Diablo stream there, Czar. Should have went with that, I think. You see his windows? Oh, you want to do the Linux thing. I don't know if, like, Linux support is getting better, but I still don't know if Linux is a very good way to go about things. I think it's pretty funny, too. I, I follow the one guinea pig, uh, Pancake the guinea pig, which I mention all the time. I love Pancake. You shoot me through the wall, you dude. God, I hate these asses. Anyways, yeah, the Pancake the guinea pig, and the, the owner there, she complains about, like... The Sims not running on her, like, Mac, and I'm like, well, if you're buying a Mac or, like, you know, an Apple product, you're not playing video games. That's not what they're for. What a scum. What a scum of the earth. Who is that? Emulatids? Okay. Emulatids. Sorry, I gotta find this guy and report him for being a complete ass. Emulatids. Emulatids? 
You're gonna make me type in that extra SX box, are you serious? I will find this person. Oh, they're not even a real player. They've hidden their name because of the shame they have for cheating. That's hilarious. So what is your actual gamer tag? That is your gamer tag? Well, why can't I find you on the Xbox One thing? That's weird. This guy killed the lobby single-handedly. What a loser. Seriously, guys, if you are cheating on a game that is like over 10 years old, you are a fucking loser. Don't forget that. I just really want you to know that in your mind. Windows is so decrepit. But I love Windows. It's always been there for me. Although Microsoft is hell-bent on making it worse and worse. I was. I was going to do a Diablo stream tonight, but I was like, we haven't done COD in a couple months, and I'm like, I think the people will be hungry for the Black Ops too, and then... Shame is what it is. Shame. Maybe we'll do Diablo tomorrow. Like, I wanted to do also, I want to do a predecessor stream, but the videos for that one are kind of not performing to what I thought they would do. But yeah, we, we, we might do Diablo tomorrow, we'll, we'll see. Fucking, I guess I should find another lobby. Yeah, I'll go find another lobby. These guys ruin everything, man. They ruin everything. I did debate on it, and I really sat there kind of thinking between these two games tonight. I was like, oh, I don't know. But I do know that you should probably sit there and like the stream. <gasps> Guys, look, it's Laurie. Subscribing straight donation school. Consider becoming a channel member. Channel member gifted. The Patreon option. The Discord for stream alerts. And times that will change your life. Don't you want to go to the place? Where everybody knows your name. Except if your name's different from the YouTube channel, because then I don't know who you are and I get confused and I go, I don't know who you are. Like, what is it all? I'll try to do an at thing for Zarcaster and I'll type in Zar at the, on the Discord. I'll be like, oh yeah, Zar's got some other weird name in this and I'll just be like, ugh. Confuses me, honestly. It really does. I should have done Diablo. I should have. I, I, you know, I, I made a call and I made a mistake. It is what it is. You gotta live with that sometimes, you know. I'm, I'm like any other human. I, uh, you know, I, I do gambles and sometimes gambles pay off and sometimes they don't. Kind of scared of those missiles coming down. Hey, we're winning this fight, guys. You know that? We're winning. Oh, come on, tough! Hello. Hello there. Somehow, Lari has returned. Did you see that Halo 2 is back on PC? Well, I mean, Halo 2 never left PC. You play the Master Chief Collection. What are you talking about? Yeah, Jason lives. He's always been, like, strangely into Lari, I've noticed. Like, I heard that guy, like, lives for Lari. The gifts in the, the stream, or on the Discord chat, they, they don't lie. Jason Lives was always Lari's biggest fan. <laughs> then it's Zarcaster. I had Zarcaster and Lari, they used to do brunches. I know it may shock you, but it's true. And to think that Zar would betray Lari and cast Lari aside like Zar did. Ooh, you know, it's, it's, it's terrible. It was like a Mean girl situation. Do you know they're doing, uh... I, I don't know what this has to do with Mean Girls, but they're doing a Freaky Friday 2 movie? Why? I really don't get that. They restored Expo... Yeah, there's this company called Infa... whatever. I was looking at that today. They, uh, you could play on your original Xbox, you could play Halo 2. But I, I don't get it. Like, my one pal was doing it. I know this one guy that's really into Halo, and he's, he streams and stuff occasionally, but he was doing it on his original Xbox. He's like, it was so much work and stuff, and I was like, but why? You know, like, the Series X PC, you could do Halo MCC. You can have all the Halos in one package. 4K, 120 FPS. 
and you're going to go play Halo 2 at 480p, 30 FPS, it is... Sh- I, I don't get it. Like, you know, it's, it's a nostalgia thing, I get, but, like, why? Team Deathmatch. Okay, there's nobody in this lobby. They auto-teleported me into this lobby. I'm going to find a different lobby. Let's roll the dice. What do we got? Raid. Shadow Legends. Team Deathmatch. Let's go, ladies. We're on the clock. Time to go to work. Time to go to work. We're winning this fight. Did you hear that, guys? We're winning this fight. Hmm. Move it! On the move. That's confirmed. The hell is that? Preservation? I don't know if that's preservation, though, playing, like... Like, obviously, restoring the original Xbox servers. That's really cool. But, like, I don't necessarily get the point of playing something that is... that old when you have a newer, better version of it available. Because there's no difference between playing Halo 2 on your Series X, S, Xbox One, or your PC versus playing the original Halo 2 on your original Xbox. Other than the new version of Halo 2 runs better, looks better, is more fluid, has more players, and has all the other Halo games attached to it. So I don't really get that, because it's not like they've ruined Halo 2, it is the same game, it just looks and runs better. You know, it's not like they remade it and they messed up settings or anything, it's the same game. Again, I understand the nostalgia value of plugging in that original Xbox thing, but I don't fully get why you would want a worse version of something that you already enjoy. Because I kind of sat there, I was like, oh, that would be fun to do, you know, do stream Halo 2, and uh, then I was just kind of like, but, but why like this? Like, what? You, you get what I mean? Like, it's a lot of work to set up, it's a lot of work to go through. Like, if you're playing an original Xbox game, where the multiplayer is gone, like, let's say it's not backwards compatible, like, they've got uh, Driver 3R, 3R on there. And I'm like, that would be cool, to play Driver 3R multiplayer. Because that's the game that you, you can't play anymore, right? Like, it's gone. It's not backwards compatible, the multiplayer's been removed, you can't play that game. That game I understand, but, like, Halo 2? It's like... I, like, I don't... Like, if you can tell me what's different between Halo 2 and MCC versus, like, Halo 2 by itself, I, you know, I'd be open to that, but... I don't really get it. Yeah, personally. Retro gaming. I, well, I love retro gaming, but, you know... Do I play GTA sometimes? Like, GTA 5 or something else? We do the odd GTA stream. Like, we do the odd Grand Theft Auto stream, but not too often. I have, for a very long time, wanted to, to do a Grand Theft Auto 4 stream, but it's never really fit into the schedule specifically, but I'm assuming someday we'll do that. Yeah. But occasionally we stream Grand Theft Auto 5. Not often, but occasionally we do it. And I, like, I don't really even know what to do in that game, to be honest. Like, if you've watched my streams of it, I just mess around playing, you know, like, poker and stuff. I don't really do anything in it. We've lost the lead. They're very formulaic streams. I go to the strip club, don't go into the strip club because I can't do that because YouTube would rail my ass for it. And then I go and I mess around, and then I go to the casino and play cards. Then I go and I drink, and I mess around with people, and then I go back to the casino, and then I walk around, and then I end the stream. It's really formulaic, but, uh... Yeah, I mean, GTA 6 will stream a hell of a lot of, because that'll be insanely popular, but, like, I... Yeah, I, I don't know what we'd really do in the GTA streams. Like, I wish there was something more intriguing that would kind of keep me into that one. Oh, explosives. Yeah, the PC version. The Halo 2 for Windows Vista? I got that. Blur. I, I don't know about Blur. I'm hoping Xbox kind of solves the uh, the copyright, or not the copyright, the uh, licensing on that one. Yeah. Hmm. Terrible effort. Regroup and rearm. You wonder how Diablo would have done. 
<sighs> I know. I like you know you, you take gambles on things. Believe it or not, there was a time where whenever I did a Black Ops 2 Modern Warfare Remastered, like these older CODs, I get like 5k views on the stream no matter what I did. I miss those days. Yeah. GTA 4. Well, the cool thing about GTA 4 is you get the 60 FPS on the Series X, which is really cool. Have I done GTA 4 on the Series S? Because if I haven't, I'm just leaving money on the table, honestly. One sec here. <laughs> Have I never done GTA 4 on the Series S? Oh, I have, I have. Okay, good. Because I was sitting there, it would be like, pretty dumb of me if I didn't. <laughs> pretty, pretty dumb of me. Yeah. 500 GTA 6 videos? Oh, yeah, we will be, uh... We will be milking the ever-living hell out of GTA 6, obviously. I'm gonna buy it on multiple platforms, too. I'm gonna have it on the Series X and the PS5. Yeah. That's gonna be, uh... I'm gonna be milking that one nice and good, obviously, because, I mean, it's gonna be one of the biggest games ever released. Streams, videos... Yep. We're gonna have it all. I hope it does well. I mean, it, it will do well. People will be very curious about that one, obviously. But then again, in another year and a bit from now, will I still be doing this too? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I imagine so, but you really never know how things are going to go, right? New Vegas? Oh yeah, New Vegas is FPS boosted, isn't it? I've been saving the fall, like, I've, I've wanted to do Fallout streams for a long time. But I'm under the impression that they're going to be remastering, like... Well, remastering those ones, so I kind of haven't... Same with Morrowind. Or not Morrowind, sorry, Oblivion. Like, Oblivion they're remastering, remaking, so I've been saving that one. Also, I thought it would be cooler to do a stream if I had, like, Kevin drop by to do something like Morrowind. That's just never happened. That's a waste. A drive. Throwing grenade. You know what drives me crazy in this game? I keep thinking in my mind like it's a newer COD and I can like call people out and my mind keeps going, oh point that guy out so your teammates can kill them and I'm like it's not in this game. There's no pinning system. Yeah. That is the big issue with uh, Vegas is it doesn't do the... 4K resolution, which makes me really wonder if, like, they either just don't have that technology, or if the Series X isn't powerful enough to do 4K for, like, those 360 games, which is what I'm thinking is the issue. That's why we need the greatest leap in technology ever that's going to be possible with the next Xbox in 2026, if they make it that far. Yeah. I was thinking we might do Fallout uh, for London or whatever, but I don't know if... Because I'd only have access to the Game Pass version or the Play Anywhere version, right? On PC, so I don't know if that would be moddable for that one. But I kind of want to do the Fallout London because I think that would be fun. Maybe we could, like, stream it. Yeah, we could probably stream that one if I get it working. I'll have to look into it at the time, right? Riot shield juice, am I right? They got rid of my HUD. I can't believe they have that kind of technology. Did you pick up the hammer? Well, I really like the hammer in zombies. It's a, uh, it's a neat gun. Something that just can keep like shooting and shooting and shooting. Oh wow. See why uh, people that are hacking use that gun shoots like crazy. The old COD. Well, I wouldn't call them bare bones. They were just games that where COD was growing and they were adding technology to it every year. Yeah. 
Well, that's why those older Fallout games need remasters and stuff. Like, it's great that you can play your old 360 copy, but occasionally these companies, especially with these all-time great games, they need to remaster them occasionally. Keeps the technology going, right? I, I think something like as iconic as Fallout 3 as well would probably do for a bloody remaster. Like, you can get Skyrim on, like, every platform ever, but it's, like, Fallout 3 and New Vegas and, yeah, like, something like uh, Elder Scrolls 4 and stuff are just kind of locked. It's really weird. Like, these are incredible games, and they just, like, refuse to update them for the times. Like, it can't... Like, you, you would think they would immediately make profit on bringing something like that back, but maybe not, I guess? Yeah. Does Kevin think about the 2042 update? Uh, I'll, I'll share a fun little secret for you. Kevin actually wanted to do a stream of the 24 up, 2042 update. Uh, but he wanted to do it on the night we were doing the Dragon's Dogma or Ronin or something like that. And I was like, I gotta do the new games. But yeah, he actually wanted to on that night. I've I've, I've been chatting with Kevin. We're, we're trying to set a co-op stream of something up. But uh, he's, he's, he's so flaky. He plays his games. He doesn't reply to things. It is what it is, yeah, you know? Yeah. You like Black Ops 2? Lots of people like Black Ops 2. You're not alone in that, you know? It's, it's the most popular of the older CODs, honestly. I always tell people that. Like, the older CODs that are still being played, this, this is the most popular of them. You can find matches basically on any given night. Hmm. Kinda wonder if I should test out the HDR toning. Because apparently my capture card, and I've been kind of playing around with it, it's HDR toning where I can play in HDR and then you guys see like SDR. Kinda curious about that. Dragon fire deployed. Hmm. Because it would be nice to bring HDR back. I've missed it. I really have. I don't like it messing up the picture quality. Overrated. People live for this game. You can't say that. The Xbox Series Z? I mean, that's the dream, right? That's the dream. Advanced Warfare stream. Like, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare? Probably. There's there's nobody playing that game. We were able to do one, I think one or two streams of Advanced Warfare. There's just not enough people playing it. Like, literally no one plays that game. I'd love to be able to stream it, but then we're, we're going to have to wait for Game Pass for that. Older CODs getting FPS boost. I don't think so. I, I don't believe they will. I, I think this Xbox isn't powerful enough to do either frame rate boosts or resolution bumps. Otherwise, they probably would have done them, right? I just, I don't think there's enough overhead. The mace, the numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Yeah, Black Ops. I honestly, I favor Black Ops One. I think it's the better game, but uh, people love this one, right? But I do, I do favor the first game. The story, the zombies. Like the, for me, Black Ops One has the perfect zombies. You have the original zombies, and you have the Black Ops One zombies, which are some of the best maps, best traditional zombies maps ever done. It's great. A little early, but you know what else is great? Like in the stream, haha. <laughs> Subscribing's great, donations cool. Consider becoming channel member. Channel member gifted. The Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts and okay times. There's also the Amazon survey link. If you're grabbing anything on Amazon, use the link in the video description. I, I don't know what's taking them so long for the Game Pass stuff, because they did Diablo and it was, like, barely connected, and I'm just like, ugh. Honestly, with Xbox, it's just, like, one issue or failure after another, it feels like sometimes. Just get tired of it. Too bad this wasn't the new COD, or otherwise I would have executed that person with a funny style. Oh. I'll swing the spawn on that person. Yeah, Black Ops 1, it's all where it's at. 
a fun drink. It's a wine night, man, like I said. Maybe it should have been a Diablo wine and die night, but I'm sticking to my guns. Some people love Black Ops, too. Maybe we'll do a wine night tomorrow, too. I don't have any coke left, so kind of stuck. Wine nights. They're fun, but uh, not good for my liver. Ah, damn it. But tomorrow I think we might do... Probably Diablo, I think. This is on Game Pass, and it's a good excuse to play it. I want to do that predecessor game, but I think we might wait till this next week to go and play it. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll even see what happens. I, I, I don't know for sure. Where the hell did you come from? I'm looking for guys, looking for guys. He appears in front of me after I've already looked away. That's not the UAV I was looking for, is it? Hmm. Be advised, hostile counter UAV is online. Kill confirmed. I can see the counter UAVs online. Do they get another one? Why do I think the CODs aren't on Game Pass? Uh, they're waiting for a big blowout date. They've got it planned, or I don't know, Phil Smith is just a competent, which I think is more likely than anything, honestly. Down. Move on your feet. What, what was Phil Smith's last excuse? They, they didn't expect the deal to go through, so they weren't prepared or something? <sighs> yeah, okay. I think my biggest worry right now is they're going to trickle out Game Pass content to us instead of just dropping it like they did with the Bethesda stuff. We'll have to wait and see. But it does feel like Diablo is a test to see how smooth things go before dropping larger stuff. But I feel like for the PC Game Pass stuff, it's going to be really half-assed, and I'm kind of worried about that. Sniper's down, move up! <sighs> you should try Diablo, you should. It's a great game. Diablo with a little bit of wine. It'd be just Diablo as usual. Slashing away at enemies while my necromantic uh, pals work on things and stuff, yeah. Have I checked out Open Roads? I, I, I kind of looked at it, and I wasn't... Uh, it, it didn't, like, I, I heard it wasn't very good, and I was just kind of like, I don't know how interested people would be in a video on this one, so I just kind of passed on it. Yeah, I sometimes do that with the Game Pass games. I kind of look at them, and I'm just like, yeah, I don't, no. It's like, you know, I can, I can do better. <laughs> it's like, or I, I don't think this is going to attract people, and yeah, that Open Roads game, I didn't... I didn't love what I was reading about it, and I didn't love the look of it, so I was just kind of like, yeah, I'm not going to do this one. I've got some other videos and stuff planned of some games that just released, so yeah, I'd rather focus on those. Hmm. What? Why didn't you die? The lame station dude. Oh, the the Xbox sucks guy. I haven't. I saw him in a comment the other day. Like he he commented on the video a few days ago. But yeah, I haven't seen him on the streams in a while. Kind of disappointing. Ghosts. Lots of people uh, still play Ghosts. It's actually pretty popular. Dribbled out the games. Uh, it's, I don't know. I, I think it's better when they just drop it all. They did that with Bethesda, and I I preferred that. Assassin's Creed Mirage for 20 bucks. Not bad. I actually really like uh, Mirage. I thought it was really good. Yeah. Advanced Warfare. A again, there's n nobody plays Advanced Warfare, so I can't I can't stream that one. When it drops on Game Pass, sure, but like, n yeah, that's that's the deadest of the old CODs. That one you can't do. That one and like Black Ops 3 are pretty dead. Yeah, those ones that are not streamable.
World of War works on the Odd Knight. COD 3 you can't do. COD 2 you can't do. Advanced Warfare you can't do. You can't do Black Ops 3. Black Ops 4 on a weekend. Black Ops 2 kind of any night. Best on weekends though for multiple lobby options. Original COD 4 is dead. Uh, Black Ops 1 on the odd weekend, yes. And then it's kind of like mixed bags for the other ones. Yeah, the Xbox has no games guy, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, the old CODs will be on Game Pass PC. I don't know if they'll put them in the Microsoft Store, because they kind of half-assed it for Diablo and they put it just through the Battle.net, but yeah, hopefully. If GTA 6 and Elder Scrolls 6 both came out tomorrow, which would I want to play first? Uh, Elder Scrolls, I would put my preference to, because I'm not like huge on Grand Theft Auto like everyone else is. But I would probably cover GTA 6 more, because I think the view potential is better. But I would prefer to play Elder Scrolls. Yeah. Hmm. And if you guys missed it, I did the Stellar Blade gameplay today. I had a good laugh on that one. I think it's a pretty fun video. I think it's got some funny bits in it. Modern Warfare 2019. Yeah, you can play Modern Warfare 2019. That one's fine. I was just kind of covering more of the old CODs, like pre kind of Xbox One era CODs. <gasps> Where'd they all go? Where'd you go? I miss you so. Seems like it's been forever since Bugsnax has been gone. But I hope you guys are having fun. You know, if you're new to the stream, we do stream like each night. It disconnected me from the match, and then the match started. What the hell? What is this? I hope everybody has a lovely Easter. Get yourself some good chocolates, or those cookies that we were talking about earlier. Yeah. But no, I was, I was mostly just talking about like the older CODs, right? Like the old, old ones. And it's just my experience. When I play them, when I try to do videos and streams, that's kind of what I base my judgment off of, right? Hmm. But I'm so excited for those CODs to get dropped in the Game Pass, and then we can just sit there and do streams and videos of them for, I think, quite a while. And I'm hoping they still hit my spring deadline and being like released in April, but we'll have to wait and see. Because I think April is a little quieter for new releases, and it would be perfect. But I'm more and more thinking it's going to be the summer now, because they just... Yeah, aren't really getting things together. It's just like, you know, I, I really want to feel rewarded for all the work I put in covering the, uh, the Activision Blizzard case over those years, right? Diablo 2. Oh, if you haven't played Diablo 2? The Diablo 2 Resurrected is phenomenal. It's really, really good. I did do the review of it. We streamed it all. Great game. Great, great game. When that one drops on the Game Pass, yeah, it's a great, great title. Absolutely highly recommend Diablo 2. Diablo 3 is really fun as well. See, on one hand, like, I'd prefer them all to be dropped at once. So I get like a huge uh, views bonanza, but on the other hand, for streaming, it would be really cool if they were trickled out, because then I could do different nights for different games. But like, yeah, I love the big drops. I kind of like like you know what Netflix does for their stuff, where they just drop everything at once. The binging, I love that. Same for video content, as I love everything at once. Hmm. What will be the first COD? Well, my plan is to do a literal stream that's called Call of Duty Game Pass and kind of switch between them. <laughs> is is my plan. And then from nights forward from that, we'll do like a schedule where I'll pick different CODs and stream them. Yeah, we'll see how that far that takes us. I'm hoping I might be able to do the COD campaign streams before that happens, but we'll have to wait and see, because we've done Call of Duty 2, so logically Call of Duty 3 would be next. But we'll see if we fit those into the schedule or not. So is everyone on their team sniping? That's so fucking annoying. I hate snipers, man. Bloody annoying. Ugh. Bloody annoying. 
but yeah, the, the is that is Infinite Warfare still active? Yes, yes it is. We stream it occasionally. It's actually very active. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, why buy it if you know it's going to come to Game Pass soon, right? Like, it's inevitable. They own Activision Blizzard, so eventually Diablo 2 will be on Game Pass. So you might as well just wait. Wait it out. Hmm. And now we wait some more for the next match. Follow-up video is planned for the show. I don't, like, I haven't, uh, I've been talking with them, but I don't have access to any screeners or anything yet, so I don't know if we'll be covering the Fallout show or not. I was part of their early trailer preview thing, but not anything on the show yet. But I will be, uh, hopefully I'll be reviewing the TV show. I, I don't know, though. I, I do not know at this point. Sadly. Hmm. Oh god, Mitchell's hockey skating event is like in a week? Wow. So I guess that means I'll have to go and see what Mitchell's skating's all like. That'll be fun. I thought the GTA trailer was really good. Yeah. I think it sold the premise of the game really effectively. I know it's just going to be a big views thing, so I'm, I'm down for it. Crush all that oppose us. Let's go, team. Ba -na -ba 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 -ba. Do -do 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 -do. That's Transformers. <laughs> I, was just, I was sitting there in my mind, I was like, what is that theme song? I'm like, oh yeah, it's Transformers. Robots in disguise. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Fuck. Snipers, man, I hate them. But I mean, like, obviously, you know, I like to tease things, I like to give you guys info, but... Yeah, the Fallout show, nothing, nothing really concrete on that one. Like I said, though, I was part of the early preview thing, so I think that maybe bodes well for screeners? I, I don't know. Be advised, hostile UAV Shows are like a whole different kind of ball game too from games, like in terms of how you get access to them, how you cover them. There was like a Fallout TV show event in the US, I didn't get to go to that, obviously, because I didn't go to it, but yeah. I wish I had more opportunities to go and like travel to do stuff for like events and stuff, and yeah. It's hard to build an audience, honestly. I do pretty good, but it's still, you know, still tricky to grow well. These guys are four of them sniping over there. Cods as Lucia. In what? Bringing back working out in this economy? I'm going to Edmonton. No, no, no. Uh, Mitchell comes here. He does. I, I kind of mess it or mentioned a, a previous thing. So he does the world's longest hockey game, which is like a. Uh, he's actually a Guinness World Record holder, technically, for being part of the last one. Uh, but what they do is they do uh, the world's longest hockey game. They skate for like 20 days straight. And it's like a, it's a charity thing. So they raise money for the local children's hospital. And uh, yeah, they, they do the hockey thing. And it's like a charity event that they run for like a couple weeks. I think it's like 20 days or something like that. So he'll come here. Well, not here. It's like a kind of a little city outside of the, the city. And they'll do the the hockey game for like a few weeks so i'll go in and i'll visit and say hello while he's skating and stuff yeah it's 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 a cool thing it's a nice little charity event thing it's uh it's really great honestly yeah hmm god damn it so that's what he does each year or not each year, I think it's like, been a couple years since they did that. Fallout for a next-gen update? And I've been waiting for that for over a year and a bit, yeah. An NHL stream with Mitchell? I don't know if he plays the NHL games anymore. He's more into, uh... Kind of like some very specific, uh... Strategy, kind of like... 
I think his stuff is more light interaction that you kind of work at over time. He likes uh, Factoria nowadays, and uh, what is that other one? Darkest Dungeons he was really into, and yeah. He actually he just got a Switch, which he's really been liking, because he does the, the paramedic thing. So, the paramedic. His job is to be a paramedic. <laughs> he does the paramedic thing. This is like a side game. <laughs> it's like he's, you know, he does like art and stuff. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, so he bought a Switch for that, and I was like, you know, if you wait a bit, there's supposed to be an Xbox handheld, but he got the Switch, he's really liking it. And he just plays the PC games he plays, but on the Switch mobile on the go, which is kind of funny. Anyways, yeah, it's, it's a cool thing. You think about this game every day, this is hot your dreams. Kingdom Come Deliverance stream with Kevin. Uh, someday. Like I said, eventually, you know, hopefully I get to buy a house at some point. <laughs> And uh, I'll I'll invite uh, Kevin over for the odd stream. We'll we'll, we'll have I, I'm assuming the first one I do like I'll have Kevin over. We'll we'll order some pizza or something, and we'll we'll play more. We'll stream Morrowind. Yeah, we'll we'll stream Morrowind. I'd love to do board game nights. I think would be a lot of fun. I don't know how we'd set those up, but streaming them would be really cool. We can drag Kevin and just do some board game nights. But you guys wouldn't be able to see his face, obviously, as is tradition. Um, yeah. God damn it. But we probably, yeah, I'd drag him off for like, there's there's a few games. There's different people. I have different streams that I'd love to do. Like, uh, Kevin, it would be great to do, like, Morrowind, Kingdom Come, and... Oblivion, I think, was the ones. And then Mitchell, I want to do Fallout 3. No, Kevin for uh, Fallout New Vegas. And Joel, I always wanted to have over to do a uh, Skyrim stream with. I thought it would have been a lot of fun. But I don't really know if I'm in contact with her anymore. I'm not really sure where we kind of stand on things. So I'm not... Yeah, I don't know about that. Kevin can't... We're not really set up for that. So it doesn't really work right now. Otherwise, we'd do it. Yeah, otherwise we would do it. Let's not set up for that. Why does Diablo 4 have bad reviews? I think the server issues when the game launched kind of pissed people off. Yeah. Well, Kingdom Come is more... like Okay, so what happened was Kevin and our friend Riley... Like, Kevin... They like they, they just play Daisy. But Kevin kept talking about how much of a a fan of like history and medieval times he was and i was like well you should play kingdom come and he's like oh i, I, don't, I don't know i don't know and i'm like it's on game pass check it out because it was on game pass at the time and he's like okay and then he played it and i think he's finished it like three times he's done all the deal like he fucking loves that game and i was like you're welcome but uh that's that's what i kind of do I, I you know i try to introduce people to games they like right and, uh, yeah, he, he loves that game. So it would be fun to have him come and do a stream of it and chat about it and whatever. be very cool. Joel. Uh, I think Joel's had a new guy she's with for, like, a good... They've been together, like, a year now or something. It's been a long time. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I, I don't think Joel and I are really quite compatible, personally, but we, we get along well. But, uh... Yeah, I think she's kind of moved on from the being with Mitchell thing, so I, I think as part of that I kind of get, like, kind of cut off on that, but that's life. I mean, it's not my fault, but, you know, you get roped in on things, right? Hmm. I love this map. Good. Good, good, good. I introduce you to Bug Snacks. Bug Snacks is where it's at, man. Besides, I, uh, as, as flattered as I am, I, I don't think Mitchell would like that, and obviously I would take Mitchell's, uh... Again, flattered you guys think I, you know, I would snag that pretty well, but... Uh, yeah, I definitely very, very high levels of uh, loyalty and stuff to, to Mitchell there in that, uh, obviously. 
I mean, I've only known Mitchell for like... 22 years or something? 20... Twenty-four years, something like that. You only get a few friends you know your whole life, so you gotta be—you uh... <laughs> gotta really preserve those friendships, honestly. Seriously, you only get like one or two of those. You gotta really be careful about that stuff. Oh, it's not that I get blamed. I just get roped in with the situation, right? It's just unavoidable. And I did my best, but you know, it's there's not much you can do, right? Some people just get snagged in the crossfire of things. We've lost the advantage. We lost the advantage. God damn it. Threat neutralized. Anyways, I like this map quite a bit, and I feel like it just completely gets ignored by people. It's got a neat flow to it, a little bit of a different level, highs, lows, ski shop design, kind of a nice mix. The gondolas. Yeah. Mitchell dislikes them. <laughs> the parents split apart, but it's always my fault. Playing Exoprimal? Fuck right off. A marathon of the Elder Scrolls games. Like, again, there's there's certain games where I sit there and I'm like, I don't want to do this unless I'm literally streaming it with somebody that I think we would have more of fun streaming with, if that makes sense. And there's certain games that I just associate with, like, certain people, and I just, like, kind of don't touch them because of that. Yeah, the Elder Scrolls games. You probably wouldn't be able to stream like Daggerfall and stuff. It would probably like even Morrowind stretching it. We would only stream that one because Kevin is a crazy Morrowind fanatic. We probably start with Oblivion, and I could do that one myself if I wanted to. But like Skyrim, I always had this fun idea that we would do it and have like Joelle come by and do the stream of that one because she's just like so crazily into it. Because I thought that would make it more fun. Yeah, I shoot at one guy, he dies from a sniper shot. I shoot at another guy, he dies from a sniper shot. The third guy doesn't die from a sniper shot. I die. Anyways, it's been a while. Be sure to uh, like that there stream. Subscribe and scrape. Donations cool. Consider becoming channel member. Channel member gifted the Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and I don't know, caustic times, fun times, times that will make your mind melt on the inside. And the outside. There's also the Amazon store if you like buy anything on Amazon. Use the link in the video description. Easy ways to support the content, guys. Or at least watch the videos on the channel. You know, that's, that's a little ways to help out just uh, watching videos and stuff. So much to say, there's no shortage of content on this channel. Lol. Grind. I feel like they use grind in like every card. The skate park, yeah, that's the grind map. You can't escape that level. I love the giant inflatable arm man though. They're fun. Yeah. I introduced you to party animals. Yeah. Oh, hey, Madog, I hope you're doing well. F Filet has a, has a weird problem with party animals. An Oblivion remaster. I told you, man. It's it's this. Year. Okay, so again, so there, like I don't know the exact slots for these because it's a little bit of a mixing thing, but there's an Oblivion remake slash remaster happening, and there's a Fallout Three remaster happening. So either the Fallout Three remaster comes out this year, and then the Oblivion remake remaster comes out next year, or this year the Oblivion remake remaster comes out, and then next year the Fallout Three remaster happens. I don't know the order, but that is apparently what is happening. I'm assuming if it's a remake of Oblivion, it'll be next year. But if it's a remaster, it'll be this year. And whatever happens, Fallout 3 will fall into either or. But we're supposed to be having that. That's also why I hold off on that one, because we're supposed to have that.
I'd heard improving your life is part of liking the stream. It's a process. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a thing. It's just market research. Can I scientifically back that up? No, I can't, but it is. It's a thing. Hmm. Yes, it is quite so. I mean, I heard if more people liked the stream, that bird wouldn't be so homeless. Fallout 3, Fallout 3 looks really good on Series X. It's 4K60. I think it looks great. But for me, like, Fallout, it's, like, you know, higher resolution. Or, for me, like, it, like it runs a 4K60 on Series X. But for Fallout 3, it would be, like, quality of life improvements. Like, sprinting, fixing bugs, you know, getting all the DLC packed in there. Improving some of the textures. The quality of life stuff that I think that game really needs after... Uh, 2007? 13... 17 years, that's I mean, like, fuck, you know, occasionally you've got to improve some of the classics, right? Like, I... I don't know if I'm crazy on that, like, occasionally you've got to improve these games. Same with, like, 343 being like, oh, we couldn't improve Halo 3, it's like, bullshit! <laughs> They're so full of... like, if you, if you as a studio couldn't improve a game that came out like, 15 plus years ago, you're doing a bad job. Like, Naughty Dog, they can improve The Last of Us. You know, you can debate whether or not the part one needed a remake or whatever. But if they can improve that game, and it's not that old, you can improve a game that's over 15 years old, or you should be able to, or you literally shouldn't have a job in the gaming industry. It's, it's embarrassing. Like, I can look at Halo 3 and I can be like, yeah, you can make this game look better. And if you can't, you're not good at your work. Sorry, but it's, it's just like straight up truth. I've died four times. This sucks. Yeah. Oblivion is so old. Well, okay, so the, the other problem too is like the... The more and more you leave older games without touching them up, the harder and harder it is to get to like update them. And like Oblivion is at the point where like I think you could get away with a remaster, but it probably needs a remake. Because it is that old. And then you have a situation like, so Oh my god, I keep dying. And it's like, can you remake these games? Can you do that stuff? Yeah. Halo 3 anniversary, I am very salty about that too. And that's the thing, is they said like they couldn't make Fall or Halo 3 look better, and that's why they never did the anniversary. And I'm like, bullshit, you couldn't make that game look better. <laughs> like, you're, you're just, again, you're bad at your job if you don't think you can look at that game and be like, we can make this, we can improve this. Because you could. I love Halo 3, it's a sacred game for me. What am I, like, my favorite game of all time. And it's like, even I can look at that game and be like, yeah, you can improve this or that. At least visually. Fuck me, dude. I keep dying. One sec here. Yeah. Oh, the games for Windows Live crap? Yeah, that was a big problem, too. Like, Halo 3 does look good, but you're telling me you can't improve how, how Halo 3 looks? I just, it's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. How's everyone doing? Good, I'd say. I think we're all having a pretty good night, chillaxing, living good. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow, but, you know, living fine. I think I'm going to have to set myself up a fun mall trip at some point coming up here, though. And you see there's some new cardigans. It's so hard to shop for cardigans. I feel it like, like males, we just... Not many cardigan options, honestly. It drives me crazy. As odd as that sounds, but it impacts my life greatly. This guy got to do to get some nice, fashionable cardis or cardigans, honestly. And in this economy, she lost her head. I don't know. I just like I look at some games and I'm like, I know people kind of dislike some remasters or remakes or seen them like deem them unnecessary but the only way to reintroduce older games to newer audiences is through remasters the only way to keep gaming as an art going is through remasters and movies they do it constantly right you get the dvd release you get the blu-ray release you get the 4k release you get the digital re-release you get the director's cuts and that keeps the movie fresh 
and, and gaming, I would argue, needs it even more because older PC configurations, uh, console gaming-wise, some of these games, they get older and older, and it's like you got to keep supporting them or they just kind of vanish, and that's sad. I like Halo 3 more than COD 4. You're damn right I do. They're pretty close. Like, they're pretty neck and neck, but yeah. I, I really love Halo 3. That game is absolutely everything to me. Yeah. It's just perfection, honestly. The multiplayer, the single player, the forge, the co-op, the stories I've had in Halo 3 over the years, that game is just everything. The perfect end to a trilogy, the excitement building up towards Halo 3, going out at midnight to get Halo 3, playing Halo 3 for years, that game's everything. Yeah. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I play pretty good games over the years, but yeah, that one is just perfect. The cutscenes felt lifeless? Dude, Halo 2 is like a mess story-wise, because you're split between this boring-ass crap with the Avatar and this great stuff with the Chief. Halo, Halo 3 is just better. I was there for it. That was my first midnight release was going to, to Halo 3. Uh, I dragged my mother out. <laughs> we sat in line in the cold and uh, the pot filled air to uh, pick up Halo 3 at Future Shop. I have my receipt for it. Yeah, I do actually. I can, I can actually, you know what? Let, let me look if I have my, where my Halo 3 copy is. I can actually pull it out. Oh, my legs. It's okay. Halo 3. Yeah. See, this is this is back when Halo or when Xbox had exclusives before, like Phil Spencer killed the Xbox brand. See how it says only on Xbox 360. Yeah. So here's my uh, Future Shop release, the 250907. <laughs> See if it's got the receipt in it, which the text has faded, but you can. I, actually, I don't even know if you can see that. It says, okay, so it says I bought it at 025 on the 25th, 09, 07 at Future Shop 21, whatever that means. Yeah. Apparently, I also bought Fantastic Four. Or maybe that just means Halo 3. Yeah, sorry, it's really faded. Okay, for whatever reason, they charged me for Fantastic Four, but it's, it's a Halo 3 copy. But yeah, I, I bought Halo 3 on that night. That's my original receipt for this game. Fifty, I paid fifty nine eighty three Canadian for it. I think that's because I pre ordered because it says sixty nine ninety nine. Yeah. the The receipts they they fade over time, but that that is this is my original Halo three receipt. <laughs> yeah. It's my my original copy and everything like that. It's it's green screen because it's a green screen, but yeah, Halo Three is my my pride and my joy. I yeah, I'm sure when I'm dying, this will be like one of my last possessions. Will be my my Halo Three 360 copy. This this game means absolutely everything. I like COD Four a lot too, but yeah, Halo Three is just uh, it's it's something special. The Fantastic Four game. I, th I think I did a video of that on 360. It's uh, it wasn't that good, but it was okay. So I, I actually do keep that around. Hmm. Like I, I really love Halo 2, but uh, it it has story pacing issues and stuff with like. Again, the Master Chief things are way more interesting than what's going on with the Arbiter. At least initially, I think. The the split story perspective, it never works for Halo. I don't know why they try to do it. Because you can tell, like... I know a lot of people really love Halo 2, but technically Halo 2 and Halo 5 weakest story elements because of the split narrative design. Well, not well, Halo 2 is infinitely better than like some later Halos, but you get what I mean is that like split story thing, I think weakens the overall narrative plot. And, uh, yeah. 
But Halo 3 is just perfection. It concludes the full story, ties things off nicely, it's epic, it's exciting. Killer multiplayer, killer forge, perfect Halo package, great game. One of the best games ever made. Yeah. 20 copies of Cyberpunk. I thought you ordered the physical copy and it still hasn't arrived, Vaylander. Aha. Uh -huh. Godfather Infinite. Halo 3 was the first game you ever played. How young are you? How 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 young are you on that one? Yeah, but anyways, I've I've got my literal <laughs> receipt for that one. The text is so faded now you can barely read that receipt, but yeah. I always, I always keep that one. Future Shop isn't even a company in Canada anymore. They've completely vanished, but yeah, it's, it's kind of funny. Hmm. Anyways, I, I never, <laughs> never shy away from an excuse to bring out the old collection. When I buy a house eventually, I will do a video going over my full physical library of games. It'll probably only be for members, I think. I don't know. We'll, we'll wait and see, but I'll have a video where I go over my uh, full physical library of games and stuff and talk about them. It'll, it'll be fun. Again, the hilarity of selling off my physical library because they weren't doing backwards compatibility. And then they do backwards compatibility, and then they, I also get into doing videos where I play older stuff, and I'm like, fuck. And I, I don't think streaming was really a thing in 2007, was it? Yeah. I should have been streaming earlier, though. But uh, it is what it is. Yeah. Hmm. The dislike button flew in your hands. Oh, fuck off, boy. Oh. It's all engagement. YouTube doesn't care if it's likes or dislikes, as long as things are being engaged with. Damn it, dude. Uh, buying Crackdown? Well, you, you didn't buy it. You bought Crackdown because you got the Halo 3 beta. That was the whole point of it. Game crazy. Yeah, we didn't have that in Canon last. Halo 1 will be your favorite? Oh, oh, sure, Zarkaster, sure. Just yeah. Just remember how exciting Xbox was back in the day. It was like untouchable. Man, they sure just fucked up. Got it. I actually think that's literally where the Battle Royale mode's name comes from, is Blackout in this game for shooting down a UAV. The only negative thing here is we don't get the 120 FPS. Should've done a Halo- that's what I wanted to do, was a Halo stream so I could do it at 4K 120. God, maybe we'll fill that in on this week. 4 player achievements. Oh, yeah, yeah, map packs, all that stuff. I remember being pissed because I had those achievements. Fun fact, the, uh, the day before I picked up the Xbox One, or actually the night of me picking up the Xbox One, was where I got my final Halo 3 achievement. Which was the, uh, God damn it, uh, for doing the Spartan laser, I think. I think it was the Spartan laser for doing the uh, the Lone Wolves. I got it the night of picking up the Xbox One. I was very proud. It was the last achievement I needed in that game. I don't have it installed, so I can't show you. But yeah, it was the uh, the last achievement I got. It literally, I think, an hour or so before I went to pick up the Xbox One. And I was like, a little seventeen fifty out of seventeen fifty for achievements, which was pretty unheard of at the time to actually have that much gamer score in a game. Yeah.
Where you had to get was annoying. It was. That was like the last achievement I got was going literally like right before I went to pick up the Xbox. Like I got that achievement. I was like, okay, I'm done with the Xbox 360. And I went and bought that. You miss Future Shop? I do too. I do too. I also miss when people used to like and watch the streams, but be sure to like the stream. Subscribe and great. Donations cool. Consider becoming a channel member. Channel member gifted. The Patreon option. The Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and aggressively below average, but generally okay in fun times on the Discord. There is also the Amazon store affiliate link. Grabbing anything on Amazon, use the link in the video description. Yes. Yeah. Go to the game's official club. That's that's way too much work. It took me that long to 100% Halo 3. Well, that was uh, was that one last achievement I was missing. I mean, I don't know if you know how hard some of those Lone Wolf achievements are. They're, like they're they're pretty brutal. Is that one? I remember getting the mongoose achievement by running over to somebody that I think had the flag or something like that. I, just, I don't know what that one was. UAV awaiting That's funny. UAV inbound. Hmm. Yeah, good old Halo 3. I've actually debated on doing a Halo 3 Retro Series X video because it's backwards compatible, but I was like, yeah, there's no point because it's only 30 FPS. I'm sure they can FPS boost that one if they wanted to, but since they delisted it, they're probably not going to. That's actually something I would have killed for is uh, a Fable 1 backwards compatible release. Because anniversary version, it's great, but it's not like the same as the original Fable, if that makes any sort of sense. It would have been cool to actually have the original Fable to have on the Xbox, but yeah, whatever. Hmm. Yeah. Halo 2 Lasso? Well, I have all the Lasso achievements on the MCC. Cold work the hell out of your sarcastic. <laughs> World of War. I like World of War. It's fun when we get to stream that one. It is. Yeah. It is fun. Just, uh, you know, next time that Game Pass drop happens. Like, like honestly, when the Game Pass thing happens, older COD streams will be so much easier to do. We did get to stream them all during the summer when the servers were fixed. And uh, that was a lot of fun. It is, it's enjoyable playing your older games. It is. There's something inherently great about being able to enjoy the classics with other people. It's just whether or not you can do that on a stream night is uh, another question. The World of War is a lot of fun. Yeah. Release the hounds. Our UAV will find them. And it's a shame they don't really remaster older cards. It really is. Yeah. The newer cards. You, you don't run into cheaters as much as people make it sound like you do on the newer CODs. It's it's more rare than you think, honestly. It's not that bad. Even on this game, it's like, it's not that bad. Yeah. You missed out on Halo due to World of Warcraft? Which at the time is a perfectly fair thing. Like, World of Warcraft was a big deal back then, too, right? I'm trying to think of what the expansion would have been for, like, 2007. Because 2004 was the original World of Warcraft. Then there was uh, the Cursed Lands or something. And then with Lich King. And that's what I'm looking forward to. Is I'm hoping there's some kind of Game Pass integration for World of Warcraft. Maybe a World of Warcraft Xbox release at some point. And then we can stream ever living fuck out of that. I'm surprised I didn't get the stab off on that guy. Friendly hunter killer drone deployed. Hmm. Yeah. A new Spyro game? Uh, allegedly that is what Toys for Bob is working on. 
So I think what happened was Xbox was like, hey, we're probably going to close you guys, or you can become independent. And Toys for Bob was like, we'll become independent. And then Toys for Bob was like, well, we want to make a game. Can we make Spyro with Microsoft? It's like, oh, right. as long as it's exclusive. And yeah, I bet you they're working on Spyro 4 right now. Anyways, I kind of need to go to the bathroom, so I will give you guys the win emote. And I will be back in a sec. Burning Crusade. That's the one. All right, let's get to it. Oh, we haven't actually had to express night. That's weird. Hmm. I grabbed some uh, bear paws all the way. Oh, he's behind me. You know, you leave for a few a few minutes. You know, like seriously. <laughs> hmm. Fire out. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> We're gonna have to find a new lobby. I, you're not you're not supposed to be able to move like this. UAV inbound. I'm kind of curious because I'm like, can we go off the map? But I believe I can fly. Yeah, this is dumb. Like, we're gonna we're gonna have to find a new lobby. Sorry about that. There's a girl on your friends list that used to play Halo Three. Oh, she would play Final Fantasy instead of Halo Three. Ah. Shut up, clock it, and load up. Hmm. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. I, I thought you were a lot younger. Aren't you, like, literally just 18 or something? Like, you wouldn't have been around during the Halo 3 days. Down. The math doesn't add up on that. Oh, you know what? I'm thinking of a different person. Never mind. My bad. My bad. I'm, I'm thinking of an ultimate guy. My bad on that one. <clears throat> hmm. You want cookies now? Well, bear paws are always where it's at. Hmm.
Anyways, what was I trailing off about? I always remember, what was it? W women in gaming, not not too often back then. But there was Call of Duty 3, where there was always Steph New York I would run into. Classic gamer tag. I think I talked about that on stream before. Is she even still, uh... I wonder if that account still exists. Call of Duty 3, yeah, it was Steph New York. I think it was like Steph NY. This one. Yeah. Call of Duty 3, I think. I think that's this one. Hasn't played any games? Yeah, right. Hmm. I always remember that from back in the day. Oh, come on. Blown up by the airstrike. Get out of here. Yeah, I remember that from Call of Duty 3. I think it's pretty common, though, these days. You run into to women and stuff on in games. It's pretty commonplace. Yeah, no, no, you're, you're, you're not... You, panic, you're, you're not the person I was thinking of. It was your picture, I was kind of like, oh, that that one person. But no, it's, it's ultimate... The second ultimate person we have in the chat, that's who I was thinking of, because they're like, I think they said they were like 17 or something, I was like, it would have been around during the Halo 3 days, I was like, no, nah, I don't think so. But no, I was, uh, I, I misread my, my bad on that. I get mixed up sometimes, believe it or not, there's uh, a lot of people, you know, it's like, what are we at, like 107,000 subs or something like that? They don't all pop up for streams, obviously, but, you know, it's uh, quite quite a few people pop up and stuff like that. Baldur's Gate 1? Why are you playing Baldur's Gate 1, man? Surgeon to see Sandstorm. Hmm. We haven't done that in a while. I really like Insurgency to see Sandstorm. Not enough excuses to uh, stream that one, though. Uh, most of the, the ladies that I ended up playing with on games was more Modern Warfare 2 and onwards, not uh, Halo 3. Although there was one person that I thought was a gal from Fredericton, which is a small place in Canada land. And they were a guy. And we met in the Valentine's Day tournament for Halo 3. <laughs> what was their... Huh. Hmm. I, 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 that's, sorry, I'm, I'm having flashbacks from, like, frickin' decade ago. Hmm. Oh, Diamond Girl. Call Duty 3, this was Diamond Girl. I don't know if he's on my friends. I haven't think I've thought of that guy in, like, a fucking decade. Kick through his Minecraft. Moldy Wardy was from Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. I'm I might not have that guy on my friends list anymore. Hmm. Funny. Yeah, there was uh, that one dude I literally don't even remember. That was a long time ago, though. You guys are sparking my uh, memory from like a decade plus ago. Enemy down. You play the nostalgia games, it gets you thinking. Hmm. I, I don't know if the original Baldur's Gate, I don't know if Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 hold up as well compared to Baldur's Gate 3, personally, but you know. Your sign language class? You got a sign language class? Hmm. Modern Warfare 2? People love Modern Warfare 2. COD 4 is where it's at for me, though. Yeah. Move out of the way, man. Gonna get us killed out here. Enemy down. 
That was so long ago. What was the name of that person? I think I had them on Facebook at one point, or once upon a time too. Hmm. I just remember them, I don't remember their name or anything. That blows my mind. Yeah, now you guys got me trying to remember who that person is. I think I'd, I'd honestly, I think I'd have to turn on Skype to see if uh, I remember what their name is. My dragon. <laughs> The dragon fire didn't even go for more than two seconds. It was gone. Yes, uh, happy Easter time. Hmm. Does this game have like a nuke or something in it? I don't think it does, does it? Oh, I died anyways. Tripping down memory lane. No, I'm, I'm really curious now who that person was. I assume that makes Mark my longest kind of Xbox friend that I've met on Xbox. I, I kind of want to pop up Skype and take a look at who this person's name was. Hmm. Because I really, genuinely don't remember. Hmm. That's the thing, though, is like, if you don't keep up with people, you don't interact with people for a long time, you forget them, right? Well, you don't forget them, but you forget details like the name, who they are, everything like that. Snipers. You were hopelessly friend zoned. Who friend zoned you hopelessly? Are some of the memories good or bad? <laughs> I guess it depends on the person you're thinking about. I think you can also, depending on the person, have good and bad memories. You can remember good times or remember the fallout. It depends like on who you interact with. There's some people where I'm like, oh, I really like this person. And then the fallout was so bad with them that you didn't end up liking them, but you still remember some good times. Keep up the pressure. It's more like a timeline of how you interact with people, honestly. And how bad of a fallout you have. Yeah. Yeah, I think I had that person on Skype. I'm actually kind of wanting to pop up Skype now and actually see what their gamer tag was. If their gamer tag was the same on Skype. I don't. <laughs> it was a long time ago, but I don't think I have them on my friends list anymore on Xbox. And I'm kind of like, who was that person? Hmm. You guys make me ponder the old things. You make me ponder the old things. Like, I, I, I'm gonna pop up Skype on my phone. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can. Oh, I'm not signed in? Oh, fuck off, Microsoft. I gotta sign into Skype. Like, you don't know who I am, Skype. Does anyone still use Skype? Probably not. They killed that. Microsoft loves to buy things and kill it. <laughs> it's like their whole MO. We buy to destroy. Do I remember my password? Oh god. Yes, I want to say I do. Why night? Yep, it's a why night. Huh, <sighs> we're enjoying the magic of a uh, Mount Dawson Cabernet Sauv. Inspired by the natural awe of the Canadian Rockies. It's a winery that crafts wine. Peak of traditional wine making. Oh, wow. They do it all. Hmm.
Oh god, this this uh, Skype stuff goes way back. I'm going way back, guys. Just just give me a sec. I'm going through the the Skype stuff. Untitled chat. Oh, that means means they deleted their account. A lot of untitled chats. Yeah, they're not on the they're not on Skype. I'm assuming they deleted All their account then. I guess I'll never remember who that person was unless I go through my Skype friends list and we've taken control. Hmm. Hmm. Nope, they're gone. Sucks to suck. That person has vanished forever. Big releases next month. I probably I don't know. Am I doing anything for Easter tomorrow? Uh, it's a little little snowy out, so no. Like it was today was like a so like it was kind of I don't know it was kind of cold today. There was like this Easter egg hunt thing I wanted to do like uh, the the haunted Calgary. So I go and I do these haunted house videos in October. If you've never seen them, I do one for this thing called Haunted Calgary, and they were doing like an Easter event, but it was like kind of. Like, it snowed really badly, not yesterday, but the day before. It was kind of cold yesterday, so I was like, uh, I don't really want to go. But I was going to go and shoot video and do, like, an Easter video, but... Yeah, nah. And tomorrow, it's 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 looking kind of chilly again tomorrow. So, uh, it's, uh, I think I'm just going to sit and maybe do some writing. Maybe grind out the COD Battle Pass on my own, and I don't know. No real plans, though. Yeah. Hmm. What's up? Just answering the call of Black Ops. How do I revert back to crappy? I, I think this game still looks pretty good outside of the jaggedy edges. It's not like CODs evolved that much from this. Yeah, I don't really have issues with it, honestly. I still like. I still think it looks okay. It, it is the jaggedy edges that really drive me crazy, but I still think aesthetically it looks like God. It looks like classic Call of Duty. Fuck. Hmm. Orange juice. How is Skype still active? Uh, apparently, it's used for business stuff or something. Skype used to be like the thing, and then Microsoft just killed it. A regular water night? Oh, Zardcast, you gotta stop, start up in that wine stuff. Ugh. How can you ever expect that plus one that you have going on to really live a full life without a wine diet? Anyways, it's been a while. Be sure to uh, like that there stream. Subscribing's great, donations cool. Consider becoming a channel member. Channel member gift and the Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts aggressively okay to below average, but sometimes I'll write times. And there's also an Amazon store affiliate link. If you're grabbing anything on Amazon, use the link in the video description. Easy ways to support the content, guys, so that I can keep doing what I do. Hmm. We've taken the advantage. We took the advantage? Good, good. There we go. Black Ops 2. People love Black Ops 2. It looks blurry. I don't know, man. It's like, isn't it like sub 720p or whatever? So, I mean, you know, it's as it's good as you get for a game from this time. It's not like they gave it a resolution pop up. I guess theoretically I could try it on PC, but I don't think people really do the multiplayer on PC. I, I don't know. I don't know what you want from me. I'm just here giving you a little bit of nostalgic over this Easter, or nostalgia over an Easter holiday time. Should I have went with Diablo? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing sometimes. Sometimes I'm just playing, you know? Playing the game. Trying to get new people to watch the channel. Stuff like that, you know. Con 4 and Halo 3 would be right in the same year, and Bioshock, and Mass Effect, and... 20, 2007 was a banger year, and Shadowrun. 
people are always like, oh, 2004, and 2004 I do actually understand. But, like, the people that discount 2007 as being one of the best years in gaming ever, I think, are crazy. That, that year was stacked. Twenty twenty three was actually pretty good too. There was there was really good games that year. Very high highs, very low lows. Looking at you, Gollum. <laughs> Shot through the wall. This is ridiculous. We pull forward. Got him. 2007, it was a good year for Xbox, it really was. Yeah. Just out here trying to attract new viewers to the streams and the videos on the channel. It's so hard. It's so hard. It's like, where do I find new dedicated viewers? And it's like, it ain't easy. It ain't easy. I'm really playing on Vertigo. Let's go for that one. I mean, people do really genuinely love this game. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. There's this one bunny on Instagram, and its owners taught it to ring a bell to get a carrot. <laughs> Then it rings the bell and they give it a carrot and the guinea pig eats it. Or not the guinea pig, the bunny eats it. I'm like, yeah. No, there was a good time for streaming though, where I could get like easy high views on Black Ops 2. We'll have to wait till Joss in the game pass and then hopefully the magic will return again. Hmm. Ba da ba da ba da ba da ba ba ba. I hope everybody's having a great Easter time. And that the Easter Bunny gives you chocolate. Team Deathmatch. Hmm. Covert Op is aborted. Go hot. Let's go, team. Those guys are doing. We're winning this fight. I wish I had some food I could cook up at this hour. Like a good chimichanga would be great. I'm like hungry. Might do some Ritz crackers and cheese. That would be good. After you're streaming, you want some warm food, you know? Hmm. Shot me through the wall. It's just skill, man, you know? It's just skill. As long as someone isn't blatantly, like, shooting through walls, I, I tend to let a lot of things go on this one. Because this game did have ridiculous auto-aim. Like, ridiculous auto-aim. 360 Xbox One. Well, for me, the 360 was getting so slow and tired. I, when I got the Xbox One, I was like, whoa, this is incredible. But then, like, honestly, the PS4 had a better jump in tech. That was painfully clear from the way games are running. I don't know what Microsoft was thinking at that time. They really... Because I don't know if you guys have seen my Xbox 720 video. It's pretty good, honestly. Like, it sounds silly, but it was going over what they were originally expecting to do with the Xbox One, and, like, they kind of shot themselves in the foot with their original design, because the original idea was that they were going to charge uh, $399 for the Xbox One and include the Kinect and have backwards compatibility. And then they kind of like charge an extra hundred. Like, they, it's really dumb. Like, you, you learn a lot from that video, honestly. Oh, uh, Zero's here. Oh, egg, bacon, cheeseburger with fries and a garlic pickle in this economy? You're feeling nostalgic for 2007? It was just a good year. Yeah, it was, it was just, it was a really good time for the gaming. It honestly was. Good games, good times, fun experiences. Hmm. 
We're winning this fight. But you don't know the good times are the good times until you get older, right? It's kind of, I think with the economy the way it is and stuff too, it just, everything feels a lot sadder than it should. UAV didn't help me one bit. They cut the hardware to compensate for the connect. Yeah, it didn't work. New Xbox can't save a location thing? What do you mean? Added Steam? I don't think adding Steam to Xbox would help them. Again, they've they've talked about adding Steam to Xbox since like 2007. And it's never happened. And I don't think they would because it would be a competing store that they wouldn't take a, a money from. And they don't even they don't even have like a deal with Valve. Like we don't even have like Left 4 Dead and stuff on Xbox anymore. So they don't even work with Valve. So no, I, I don't I don't think they would do Steam on the Xbox. I mean it would be cool, but I would immediately stop buying any game through the Xbox store, which I don't think is what they want because they want to make money. So it, it doesn't really make sense to me. But yeah, I mean, it'd be great if they added Steam to Xbox. I could do really interesting videos if they did. But I would immediately cease any purchase through the Xbox store, and I would buy everything on Steam. There would be zero point in buying a single Xbox game. Because you just get everything on Steam, right? But for me, doing videos and stuff, yeah, it would open all kinds of new avenues, but... Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense to me. Like I said, they've been talking about doing that crap since, like, literally Left 4 Dead 1 or something came out, and it just never happened. UAV inbound. Hell, they were talking about PlayStation 3 having Steam on it, and it never happened. So it'd be cool, but yeah, I don't think it'll be a thing. I know that dates me quite a bit, but seriously, there's been discussions about that being a thing since literally the late 2000s. New consoles and... Gen is getting slimmer. Yeah, there's less and less advancements in technology. See, here's the thing, though, is like when the 360 came out, it was top of the line. And this was like, I think, the closest gen we had to catching up to BC, but we've still fallen painfully behind. But it's, it's kind of like diminishing returns on visuals, blah blah blah. The biggest thing these consoles lack is uh, really resolution scaling technology. That's the thing that gives NVIDIA massive edges is DLSS. And without DLSS on Xbox, these, or PlayStation, it's like these consoles are just like crippled basically. Yeah. Steam cells? Steam cells are great. Mission profile failed. The view on Xbox, uh, we're basically at a point where Xbox is like that really sad, limping dead animal that you're trying to take care of in nature that's come up to your doorstep and you feel bad but there's nothing you can really do for it, and you just kind of have to watch it really slowly die over a few years. That's Xbox. It's over. Yeah, it is over. I'm on this crazy boat till death, but yeah, it's the Xbox brand is, is dead. It, it won't ever recover. It's It's over. They killed it. Phil Spencer killed Xbox. But, you know, we have our fun and we enjoy our situation. But it's it's over. The Xbox Spring Sale. Uh, next Thursday will be the Xbox Spring Sale. We'll do a stream. And as per usual, I will be permitted my three don't buy an Xbox, buy another console platform things because they got rid of the affiliate link. And, uh, yeah, next Thursday will be the thing. You'll see my stream of it. And, um, yeah, it's the same every year. I do the streams of the same day, it's the Thursday of April every single year, and we'll continue that trend. Cheers. How would the rules play out? I mean, if they added Steam to Xbox, you would just buy games on Steam, it would just be another store you would buy from. Wouldn't really be rules or anything. Well, what am I drinking? Good question. This is a uh, Mount Dawson Cabernet Sauv. It's from, uh, I guess, Vancouver. Fuck Vancouver. Uh, it's a red wine. Inspired by the natural awe of the Canadian Rockies, Mount Dawson Winery crafts wines that captured the peak of traditional winemaking. 
Selecting classic varietals from top wine regions, our winemakers blend full-bodied fruit-forward wines with character and a long-lasting finish. There you go. Yeah. And I mean, like, I really love the Xbox brand, but, like, it's on its last legs. I, I can see it. They, they, they brutalized it. Like, Xbox executives apparently say that the brand is stressed. I disagree wholeheartedly. I see the comments, I see the messages from people. They killed the brand, and I, they can't recover. They brutalized it through complete stupidity. And honestly, at the end of the day, it's Phil Spencer that the full blame goes on. The guy killed the brand over a decade. Sure, it wasn't in the greatest of states when he got a hold of it, but he didn't help it, and he made it worse. I mean, I'd love to sit here and pretend that everything's good, but it's it's not. Yeah. My liver will be non-existent. I don't actually drink that much. See, here's here's the thing that kills me, is like I, I hear all these things about like from my like my parents about how much they used to drink back in the day and other people and how they drink back in the day, and then me, I, I sit here and I have like, you know, like on most nights when I do my rum and coke, I have like, the equivalent of a shot or less of a drink, and it's like once per day, and sure. You know, now I'm enjoying the odd Stella day because Costco got Stella. So I'm doing like a Stella and like a shot a day. It's not that bad, <laughs> really. Like, I'm not sitting here like I'm some kind of crazy alcoholic or something, like honestly. My, my liver will be absolutely fine. It's, it's not a big deal. I, I don't sit here just drinking all day. Except for Margarita Summers. Uh, they're, they're not good for the liver. Yeah. And wine nights aren't good either, but, uh, you know, we, we do the odd wine night. Reloading. And I'm, I'm not sitting here drinking like I'm some kind of crazy alcoholic or something. It's not like Mad Men over here. I'm, 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 I'll be okay. It's, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason to get rid of your Xbox. Especially if you want to play, like, GTA and stuff. But I'm just saying, like, as a future, the brand is just dead. There is no recovering. Unless they really do something genuinely crazy and out of the box for hardware, it's over. And I'm sure people at Xbox are realizing that too, because even their hardcore fans have given up. They like when you when you get to a point where even the people that would like die hard buy your console, no matter what you do, are saying I'm done with it, that's when you've created a really bad problem that you can't fix ever. They've burnt their core audience, and yeah, it's it's just done. But like you know, we, we laugh, we have fun, and we don't you know, we joke about it. But like, it's they'll never recover. It it just they can't. And they did that themselves. Yeah. Zero. Don't, don't, don't even give me that crap, Zero. You're on the Discord constantly telling me about how much you drink. Don't worry, you're young anyways. Have fun while you're young and drinking and you'll level out as you get older. Make sure you eat when you're drinking. I feel like we really didn't hammer that into Zero. We're just like, yeah, have fun drinking. So, But we really didn't tell the kid to eat. And I'm like, you, you need to be eating while you're drinking too. So it like, helps. Yeah. about balance consoles yeah consoles are in decline too but the Xbox as a brand is kind of like yeah the coke is worse than the shot well actually it's coke zero so aspartame is actually not that bad how much was the wine I did the Costco thing so you buy a pack of 12 bottles for $70 or $69.99 Canadian incredible deal. I've got like six or seven boxes of wine, so it'll last me for years. For years and years and years. Yeah.
Yeah, no, I don't, I don't shield people from things. I, I try to be very honest about stuff, and it's just like... You know, you can go back to the older streams, older videos, and I was very excited about the Xbox brand, and they've just fucked it up, like, beyond belief. I, I think at this point it would take them ditching AMD entirely for the next Xbox and getting rid of Phil Spencer to even give me a little bit of intrigue. Even if they get rid of him and they promote, like, uh, Sarah Bond to running the show, I still wouldn't think that they're going to be doing a very good job since she's kind of the same kind of acting attitude as Phil Spencer. It's like, they need to clean house. The, the Microsoft, I, I don't I don't know if they realize that they're sitting on a gold mine of gaming opportunity, but they're pissing away owning the best properties the gaming has to offer, and they're doing nothing with them. We'll always have the yeah. We'll always have the 360. And your likes on the stream, <gasps> subscribing's great. Donations cool. Consider becoming a channel member. Channel member gifting. The Patreon option. The Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and great times. And the Amazon store affiliate link. Grab me on Amazon. Use the link in the video description. What kind of food am I eat? Well, traditionally, if I go to a bar, I eat food while I'm drinking. But that's that's kind of the thing. Or at home, I'm eating food. But when I'm streaming, I'm streaming, right? Well, yeah, Xbox uh, Xbox won't go anywhere, but as hardware, yeah, hardware will be gone soon. They're doing a Hail Mary attempt to do a quicker gen in 2026, but the Xbox brand is fucking toast. People aren't going to buy that console. It's going to have even worse sales than the Series XS, which is worse sales than the Xbox One. And the Xbox One is sold horribly. Like, they call Xbox One a complete failure, and the Series XS won't even come close to the Xbox One. They toasted their brand. They, like, literally tainted it. See, the thing is, they own too many gaming properties to ever vanish, but they're just gonna be this sad... sad, limping kind of thing in the gaming industry. They'll exist, they'll make money off of their big properties, but, like, hardware-wise, yeah, they're fucking dead. I mean, if you can't see that, you're just kind of being blind about it, but, like, people don't like Xbox, and the people that did like Xbox have given up on Xbox. And that's Xbox's fault. It's no one else's. The, the, seriously, the blame lies squarely on Phil Spencer and burning this franchise and this, like, IP and the brand to the ground. It's that guy's fault. Him and him alone. Seriously. Uh, Xbox handle? But, like, what's that gonna do? Like, why would you buy another Xbox console? Stretch your mom's. Does your mom not let you drink cereal? <laughs> uh, it, it won't evolve and live on. The next Xbox in 2026 will probably be the last one. Because, again, it is a desperate last ditch attempt to try to start a new gen early to see if they can fix things. I've joined the session illegally. Oh, they caught me, guys. <laughs> they caught me. You joined this. What the fuck did that say? You joined the session illegally? I'm a monster. <laughs> I've broken the law to join that match. You joined this match illegally. Uh, 343? Three, I wouldn't put any blame on 343. Three. Uh, Phil Spencer let his friend Bonnie Ross uh, burn and rot 343 and Halo to the to basically nothing. Again, it's his fault. You know, like obviously the CEO of 343 for a decade, Bonnie Ross, should have done a better job. But overseeing her was Phil Spencer, their friends. He let her fail to the top. And it killed the Halo franchise. Yeah. Hi there, how you doing? She doesn't let you drink. We'll tell her you want to drink with her. Enjoy some mimosas. Go and buy some Costco uh, margarita mix, and you two will have a great time bonding. Your, your father doesn't let you drink, but your mother doesn't. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, get, get some margarita mix, and you two can drink together. Or some uh, mojito stuff and stuff like that, yeah. Move to PlayStation. PlayStation isn't doing very well either. I, I don't think an Xbox handheld will do very well. I, I don't... I don't think it will. 
I think it's a good idea, but uh, I think it's too late to excite people about that kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, I'd love to sit here and pretend like Xbox is in a great state. But it isn't. That's the honest truth. They've killed all of my excitement for the brand. All of it. I literally don't even care. <clears throat> and I've enjoyed Xbox since I was but a young child playing Halo Combat Evolved. Oh, those were the days. Sega? Sega's not making a new console. They're doing their reboot initiative, which I think is going to be hit or miss, but uh, they're not doing a new console. Consoles are pretty dead. They separated. Oh, I'm so sorry, Zero. Has that caused deep emotional trauma for you in your, your later teen and adult years? Tell us how you feel. I think you need to bond with your mother with margaritas. You get great deals at Costco margaritas. You love it. And I think once you get her drinking with you, you two will connect at a deeper level. So here's what you do, Zero. You buy a margarita from Costco. It's a mixed thing. It's like $20 Canadian, so probably like 16 US. And then you turn on Bridgerton and you two, you watch Bridgerton and you drink margarita mix and you two will connect on a deep level. Yes. You want to purchase Black Ops 2. Uh, it runs at a higher, well, it runs at a smoother frame rate, and you get uh, auto HDR, which is great. Yeah. Yes, guys, please send your hugs towards zero in these hard times. He comes from a broken home. <laughs> what the fuck? He needs your emotional support more than ever. Is that why you weren't on the Discord? Oh, Zero, you poor soul. I fucked that up. My opinion about Xbox? I mean, I look at the projections of Xbox, I cover all the Xbox stuff. I mean, like, you can say it's my opinion, but then you can look at the math and you'd be like, wow. Xbox is dying. People don't want to buy Xbox. People actually actively dislike Xbox. People that used to like Xbox really hardcore don't like Xbox anymore. I don't even know if it is an opinion at this point. I think it's actually like the honest truth that Xbox is just dying. Like literally like Phil Spencer, Bad Booty, they, they literally, they killed the brand and they won't recover. Like, sure, Xbox will live on as, like, Call of Duty copies that you buy each year, but, like, as a hardware thing? Oh, it's toast. Why would you buy an Xbox? You get all the Xbox games and the PlayStation exclusives on PlayStation. You can get all the Xbox games and the Nintendo exclusives on Nintendo. What the fuck would you buy an Xbox? The games on Xbox, despite Xbox having a 30% power advantage on paper, the games run worse and look worse on Xbox. You get more perks on PlayStation. Xbox games run better on PlayStation. Why would you buy an Xbox? You'd be crazy. There's no benefits, there's no perks, there's no advantages. You can get Game Pass, but Game Pass is like kind of collapsing because less people buy it, because there's less people buying the consoles. It's like you're, you're living in like a fantasy world if you think the Xbox is doing well. It's not. It's selling less than it did during the Xbox One. And we all sat there and laughed at the Xbox One as a complete fucking failure. And the Series XS is doing worse. And we're pretending that it's doing well. Two consoles. Like they give away Series S's for free. And they can't give those away because people don't want them. It's sad. It's pathetic. They killed the brand. I can't even recommend it anymore because I feel like it's dead. I'm sorry. The best place is play Sea of Thieves. Another Xbox is dying stream. Every stream is Xbox is dying stream now at this point. Uh, it happened when you were young. Zero, we know that emotional trauma has carried deep through your life. Don't worry, we're all here to emotionally support you. Please guys, 
send Zero your hearts in the chat for this deep moment in his time. Sarah Bond. Actually, Sarah Bond is, uh, she's a very well-educated individual that actually seems really smart and cunning, but, like, she's being trained by Phil Spencer, and I feel like when she takes over, it'll just be more of the same. She would actually be really good at running Xbox if she hadn't had Phil Spencer's influence. Seriously, like, like, look at her, like, credentials and stuff like that. She's a very, very well-educated person. And she was very impressive during the Xbox uh, Activision, like, acquisition trials. She was very good. But, like, yeah. It's just, like, I, that Phil Spencer guy, everything he touches for Xbox just dies. He's worse than my mother with plants. I mean, like, seriously, he's been running it for over an ex for a decade now, Xbox. Are they in a better situation than they were a decade ago? No, it's, it's worse. And I mean, sure, he could be like, oh, he got the Xbox One. It was it was doomed from the start. But it's like, you know, like, the Wii U was, was doomed, and the Switch turned things around, and Nintendo's had their most successful console ever. And it's like, what's, what's Microsoft's excuse? They bought all the companies that we loved when we grew up. They bought Bethesda, they bought Activision, they bought Blizzard, and they haven't done shit all with them. Shit all. Objective perimeter failed. We're bringing you home. Yeah. And you, you get why companies ditch Xbox. I mean, Project Eve, which is Stellar Blade. Stellar Blade is awesome. And Xbox passed on it. They had Stellar Blade as an exclusive mm -hmm. under Project Eve. And they're like, oh, I don't know. And then you play it on PlayStation, you're like, this game is amazing! And it's like, Phil Spencer couldn't pick a good game to save his life. Like, when he, when he took over for Xbox, what did he do? He closed Lionhead. He killed Fable. He burned Halo to the ground. Gears of War, I like Gears of War still, but it's in shambles compared to what it used to be. The faults of franchise is dire. Like, what, what has he done? He's bought lots of studios. He hasn't released a single game that has caught great acclaim across the industry. He killed the brand. He killed it. Sony's struggling too. I'm not saying they're not, but I'm like, Xbox, they fucking killed it, man. An over opinionated streamer? Oh my god. It's like I don't have the fucking numbers to back up my thoughts. Yeah. They're, like, literally giving away the Series S and people don't want it because the brand is so damaged. MLB? I mean, the only reason MLB is even on Xbox and, like, Nintendo Switch is because MLB, like, forced them to do it. And over an opinionated... Ah, oh, God. If only I didn't have an opinion and I was a generic, boring streamer. The new Fable game? In this economy? Yeah. I mean, like, seriously, like, look at Phil Spencer. He's ran Xbox for over a decade. What has he done? Shit all. He's killed the brand. He's made it even worse than it was when he took over. Seriously, like, what has that guy done? Can you name anything that he's done to either improve the industry or improve the Xbox brand? He hasn't done anything. He's just a suit at Microsoft that gets paid a lot of money to do nothing. He's failed upwards, and he's killed a brand. Seriously, please come up with anything that that guy has done that's actually benefited the industry. Anything. Like, at all. Vampire Survivors? Yeah, he plays a lot of Vampire Survivors. Like, I keep hearing this crap about him being a gamer, and he doesn't even have a 100,000 gamer score. Like, the guy's barely played any fucking video games. Gamer, my ass. He comes on stage, he wears a blazer, and he puts on a t-shirt of, like, some nostalgic gaming franchise. And everyone goes, oh my god, this guy, he's one of us. The guy barely plays video games. And if he does, he plays Destiny, Vampire Survivors, and the most generic, boring things in the world. Barely a gamer. And I'm not even one of those guys that's like, oh, a hardcore gamer, you gotta play this and that. I'm, I'm not like that at all, but the guy 
barely plays video games. Like, let's be real here. I can't believe people still fall for his crap. I, like, honestly. Seriously, like, what has that guy done for gaming? Honestly. I actually feel ridiculous for campaigning for them to buy, like, Activision Blizzard. I can't believe I even did that. It just kills me. That was a bad grenade. Oh, jeez. Why is he CEO for so long? Because he sucks up to the Microsoft heads. Oh, Diablo is a lot of fun. I highly recommend playing Diablo. If you guys never played it, it's a great game. Seriously, though, it's like nobody else wants a job. It's like, how do you even fix Xbox at this point? You're, you're stuck with, like, this carcass of a, <laughs> of a publisher where they've just bought in so many different IPs that they will continue to exist forever, but they're never going to have, like, any sort of significant impact on this industry. It's just sad. It really is. It's, it's genuinely sad. I'd love to sit here and pretend that they're doing great things, but I don't believe that they are anymore. I mean, like, fuck, dude. The least you could do as Xbox is add Xbox achievements to Diablo 4. The least you could do is make sure that our shadows on High Five Rush look better than they do on PS5. The least you could do is not give away the few little exclusives that you have for this bare-bones excuse for a console. Like, seriously, it's, it's just pathetic. Now, I was supposed to sit here and pretend that he does a good job, and he doesn't. He does not. He's got this weird cult following that was so unearned. It's just sad. You guys, you sit there and you just complain about, like... You'd be like, oh, it's Don Matrix's fault and stuff like that. But that guy actually tried to innovate, actually released games, actually did things that changed the industry. Thing with Peter Moore, complained about that guy, but he actually tried to compete, made unique games, made the industry and, and the industry interesting. And then Phil Spencer is just like he's done nothing. Don't worry, I, I feel pretty shielded because there's like no one that ever wants to cover Xbox, and I cover the most Xbox stuff. But seriously, it's like nobody likes the brand even on like. I'm fighting like a losing battle to support a platform that no one gives a shit about. It sucks. It's like supporting the guy that's like, next year's my year, and doing that for like a decade, and it's just depressing. It's only my nostalgia that keeps me going. You haven't heard complaints about Pro or Peter Moore? Yeah, people say that that was when the decline kind of started. Drink more wine in this economy? He does a good job making it sound like everything's great. I just I don't know who still believes this guy. Like, seriously. Who believes that that guy is still doing anything good? Peter Moore was, is so fun. But no, some people are just like, Xbox is like in decline and blah blah blah, but like... Something complained about Peter Moore was it from the or from uh, Stadia and stuff like that. Anyways, it, it doesn't matter. But no, it's it's just like I, I don't know. I just like I find it so weird that you sit there and you go on like Xbox centric things like the the Reddit and on like polls and stuff, and people think that like Phil Spencer does a good job and he he doesn't. Like that guy gets paid millions a year. To destroy Xbox, it's crazy. Millions to do like nothing. You know he gets paid in bonuses if like Game Pass and stuff does well, and he's never hit any of those bonuses because he doesn't do a very good job at his job. And Microsoft just keeps letting this dude just like fail over and over again. And then we're gonna have to sit here and listen to him cry about it for a year on all these podcasts that he picks out that make him sound better because it's a PR game. And it's like, oh, if only I would have been handed, like, everything. And it's like, dude, you have Minecraft, which is the number one game of all time. 
Number one game sales all time. You have Bethesda, the greatest role-playing games ever created. You have Activision Blizzard. You have the best fucking dungeon crawling games ever made. You have the greatest MMORPG ever created with World of Warcraft. <laughs> you have the biggest shooters ever made with Call of Duty. And you can't do anything with it. You're given every toy in the kingdom. Like, you think, like, PlayStation, like, the Sony devs, or, like, the Sony owners, would be salivating at the idea of owning these companies. And he can't do anything with them. He's been given everything, and he can't do shit all with these companies. It's crazy. It's like, could you imagine owning that stuff? It's wild. On fire? Yeah, I, I'm doing what I can. Did Phil Spencer kill the Connect? He did technically kill the Connect. So that, that drives me crazy too. Like I'm, I'm a big Connect fan, as odd as that sounds. But Connect went from the biggest consumer selling electronic device of all time, 25 plus million units, 8 million units sold in the fastest time ever for a consumer electronics device, to being scapegoated in the Xbox One era a few years later. How? <laughs> How how do you how do you ruin the greatest selling like consumer electronic device of all time in like three years? How do you ruin that? <laughs> yeah, Peter Moore saved Xbox and Liverpool. I like Peter Moore. The guy was fun. I I love those videos. I know everything about the gaming industry. I don't, but I have a really good grasp upon it because it's my fucking job to. I'm not saying I could do a better job than him, but I'm saying the guy should have stepped down like five years ago. Seriously, I have a very good understanding of this industry because it's what I do day in, day out. It's my job. I understand the ins and the outs of it. I don't manage these companies. I don't run their businesses. I don't run their money-making things. And I don't, you know, I don't, like, some people sit there and be like, oh, this guy should run this company. And I always sit there and I go, no. It's like, I'm not trained for that business. But neither is Phil Spencer. Look at his history. He's not trained to run as CEO of a company in gaming. He isn't. But he does. And he's done a bad job. Seriously. Yeah, look at it. And I won't pretend to sit there and I know all the small economics and everything like that, because it's not my job. But my, my job is to understand the gaming industry, tell people whether or not a game is worth playing and spending their time and their hard-earned money on. And that's what I do. That's what I provide. I provide a service where I sit here, I stream, I play games, I showcase games, I review games, I tell people whether or not something is worthwhile, and I give insight on the gaming industry and my opinions on how the industry is going and everything like that. And you can go back, and I have pretty consistent stats on things, and my stance on the situation and how Xbox is looking has changed dramatically on them killing the brand over the last few years. That's what I do. I'd be a good Xbox head. Uh, I would just do vanity projects. I really wouldn't probably be worthwhile on things. I would try to optimize stuff. Like, I would look and I'd be like, Xbox needs a studio that works on remastered remakes. I would try to clean up the image of Xbox. I would try to make it look more hardcore and competitive. I would try to add some more teeth to the Xbox brand and try to touch with gamers a little bit better, which I think Xbox has failed at. That gaming is for everything thing I don't think connects with people that play video games. And it doesn't connect with people that don't play video games that they're trying to grab because that doesn't work. And uh, I would try to fix the brand imaging of Xbox. And I would have a studio dedicated to working on Fallout so we don't have to wait till 2032 to play another Fallout game. And uh, yeah, no, I would definitely streamline things, I think. But again, I wouldn't be really suited for it because I'm not a. Uh, you know, I don't come from the money side of gaming. I don't know the full financial things. I mean, you'd hire somebody that would do that for you, but... The the ideal job, technically, for me in gaming would be to somebody that, like, flies to different places in the world to play games and, like, appraise whether a game is, like, 
worth funding or worth being like you know published and stuff like that that would kind of be what i would do good at honestly yeah yeah <laughs> for poor Bateman. he doesn't like this at all I'm sorry, Bayman. I know you don't like this trend of things. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys to like the stream and subscribe and, you know, donations and all that stuff. I mean, if you haven't already, where's the love? Where's the emotional support? No, I, I really, I don't understand why they keep Phil Spencer. I think that's just because Microsoft can tell him to do whatever and he's just a yes man that agrees to things. But it like it legitimately blows my mind that you can fail that much and still run a company as CEO. And you'd be like, Xbox has never made more than it's ever made. And it's like, yeah, they bought all of the biggest publishers in the industry. You would hope that they were making more than they've ever made. That would be really bad. But seriously, look at every game. If you're, you know, in your 30s or 40s or whatever like that, look at every game that you loved when you grew, grew up. Every single game from your, like, teens to your young adult years. Microsoft owns all of them, and they're doing nothing with them. They own all of them. There's Elder Scrolls, Minecraft, Halo, Gears of War, Call of Duty, Overwatch, Diablo, Starcraft... They own all of them, and they're doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. I got died. Hmm. This is like the Twilight Zone. It is, it's weird. They have all of the tools and all of the toys in the kingdom, and they can't do anything with them. Like, I mean, again, Minecraft, we're getting a next gen aware or sorry we we have the next gen aware version of minecraft but playstation they get a native ps5 minecraft what the fuck what the fuck are you fuck 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 <laughs> like like what at hi-fi rush better shadows how the, the series x is is 30 percent more powerful than the ps5 how are the shadows better on playstation Physically, how? It's a dumb, silly thing, but like, why? Why? I think PlayStation does have a wine, honestly. I don't know, I, I just get, like, I get tired of it. And I'm supposed to be all, like, happy about things Xbox does, and they, they, I'm not happy about it. They've killed something I've enjoyed thoroughly over the years, for no reason. Hmm. And a random email from Airbnb over the weekend. It's a bit weird. The day before. It's it's just bizarre. And I'd love to do an interview with Phil Spencer, but I know that guy would never accept any of the questions that I had to give him. And it's just like it's so pathetic seeing him do this like apology tour every year oh if only things were going my way oh, it's just sad it's so sad and people like you go on reddit the series x reddit stuff and twitter and it's like people are like oh it's okay phil and it's just like oh my god it's like do you personally know this dude he's just some ceo suit guy that runs a company he wears a blazer and he puts on a t-shirt of some old game you like and he's like your best friend. It's like, what the hell? Like, why? <laughs> I don't even get it. Maybe people just haven't clued in yet, but I... The guy just lies constantly, too. See the company rise and fall yeah i remember the 360 era it was great it was really good 
Yeah, I bet you Starfield, when they do port it on PlayStation, and it'll happen. It'll run better and it'll look better on PlayStation. Enemy down. The crown jewel of Xbox's piss poor library of exclusives. Probably having a 40 FPS mode and it'll look and run great on PlayStation. And like I said, again, it's like, you know, I could sit here and lie and suck up to Xbox, but they've, you know, like, I've never really been included on all the cool Xbox things either. I don't get invited to the fancy dinners and blah, blah, blah. I've never really cared that much either, but, you know, like, honestly, at the, at the end of the day, I'd rather be, like, very truthful about stuff and how I feel about things and... Yeah, I also know that like Xbox wise, I cover a lot of Xbox stuff and it's like there's barely anyone that covers this brand positively. Even if I have these hostile feelings towards the brand, I still honestly cover stuff because I feel like it's my job too and integrity wise I have to. But like, yeah, there's very few people in the gaming industry that even really care at all about Xbox in the slightest. I, I feel pretty fine to say whatever I want. See, the thing is, too, Xbox doesn't even fucking respect their audience. They don't. They don't give a damn about their audience. It was Phil Spencer saying he's out there, like, chasing Zoomers and stuff, and it's like, fuck right off, dude. If they're playing on their phones, they're not gonna play your games. You have to come up with new innovative ways to capture a younger audience. See, that's the balance that I think a lot of like companies don't understand. Is like you have to a keep your hardcore audience and support them and make them feel like they're valued, while b capturing the new audience. And they had that during the 360. They had a hardcore audience. And they were able to capture the, 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 you know, casual audience too with things like Connect, Netflix integration, social media integration. It doesn't really work as well these days because they're standard features across devices. But they had a good thing going where they not only had the hardcore, like you get the hardcore audience and you build from that. You build through strong word of mouth and you add social features that get people excited about your brand that might not get into your brand. Like, you know how many people I knew that bought a 360 even if they didn't care about games because they played casual games? It, it's like it was just common when I was younger. And they just lost that along the way. Through stupid ideas, dumb plans, pissing away at their core audience. See, the, the thing is, is like Xbox assumes because you've built a digital library with them that you're stuck with it. And that's just not true. You can move anytime you want. Yeah, they didn't even send me fucking Starfield to cover. Pissed off at Xbox. No, they, they don't, like a lot of people, they don't speak negatively about Xbox, and it's like, I don't really give a shit. I really don't. Like, I, you know, again, I've had great opportunities and stuff through Microsoft, but like... I do feel I have to be honest about things, too, or I'm not doing my job properly. I care more about that than pleasing company or sucking up to them. Oh, hey, Thomas, how you doing? The clocks got put forward. Maybe in England land. Uh. Yeah, seriously, the guy has got a blazer and he throws on a fucking Quake shirt and everyone goes, Oh my god, he's my best friend in the world. Like, what is it going to take for Phil Spencer to give us Viva Pinata? For f God damn it, I've waited too long. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, ba 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 ba. Like I said, I'm sure they'll keep sending me things. Because I'm the only one that really, truly cares about this dying brand. Except, aside from the suck-ups, but even those people have stopped caring, too. Yeah. 
People love me? Wow, I get like a lot of negative messages in a day to day. Most days I wake up and I go, what kind of terrible comments am I going to see on YouTube today? Yeah. Remember, <laughs> an aggression, gentlemen. Bah, 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 bah. We live and die by the nuke town map. Fucking Christ, I hate this. I'm so tired of this map. I should have went with Diablo today. God damn it. We'll, we'll do Di Diablo tomorrow, I think. Yeah, we'll do Diablo tomorrow. Ugh. So tired of Xbox. I'm actually not that tired. Have I played Immortals of Avium? I did. Did you did you not see that? Did you miss that, Madaga? We we streamed the whole game. I think it was two streams, and then I did reviews of it on the Series X and the S. It looks like crap on the Series X and the S, honestly. It's an it's an aggressively okay game, but yeah, it runs terribly on the console. You'd be better off on PC for that one. E3'd be booed off the stage. Yeah, I, I miss the E3 events. Those were so fun. It was like going to like a mini concert. There was a lot of energy and excitement, but uh, yeah, I, I do think the events would be pretty, pretty meh. Uh, I'll give you a hint too. The Bethesda events were always better than the Xbox events because in the Bethesda events, you felt like you were part of a community that was excited about games. The Xbox events, it was a lot more like manufactured. But like Bethesda, they they Bethesda knew how to throw throw on a party. So did PlayStation. PlayStation always threw on the. I would say Bethesda had the best parties at E3, followed by PlayStation, and uh, Xbox was like okay back in like 2015-16, but they started to get like like the budgets were cut every year. That's how I t how I could tell that Xbox was dying was like the quality of the E3 events every year kept getting worse and worse. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. We got a resurgency win. Good for you, Thomas. Hmm. The 360 or uh, the Xbox has the odd good conference and stuff like that. I think their conference uh, was it last year or the year before it was pretty decent. I don't know. It, I, Xbox as a brand is is pretty dying. Like it is. It's it's really bad. Like I I keep going because you know obviously I have a a large amount of people that like like the Xbox stuff, but. <sighs> It's it's really bad. Like uh, honestly, like I, I talked to uh, what is it, my mother about the work I do a lot, and she's like, you need to stop taking codes for stuff on Xbox because it's not gonna exist in like like a number of years. And if she can kind of like surmise that based on what I tell her, it's it's getting really bad. Like I I literally. I, like, I worry about my digital library, unless Xbox some kind of comes up with some kind of, like, PC transference thing. I, it's just like, this brand is so fucking dead. And it, it sucks, but... I can just see the writing on the wall. Like, Phil Spencer, his, his job right now is just to keep you... steady, until they eventually pull out of the console industry. Their Hail Mary attempt at doing, like, a next-gen console in 2026, it's not gonna work. Unless they come out with something truly innovation, innovative and interesting, but it's it's done. Console gaming is in its twilight years, and yeah, it's it's just over. Yeah, because literally, I have, I have jokes where like <laughs> my mother will send me a text and she'll be like, "Oh, it looks like they're selling paperweights." She'll send like a picture of the Series X at me, and I'll be like, "Oh my god, Resident Evil Four remake." We did the the Ado Wong DLC. Do I play on Xbox? I, I play on Xbox most of the time. I have a great PC, though. An Xbox dying stream. They're my favorite ones, Despot. <laughs>
Uh, yeah. They're, they're, they're my favorite ones. The older E3s. That's what I do every year, too. So it's like a lot of people don't understand that I'm like, I, I do really keep up on this industry. And every year before the new Xbox conference, I go back and I watch all the E3s uh, starting in 2005, 6, up till... I, I cut off at like 2016 because it's like, yeah. But I watch all those E3s and just the change between then and now is, is mind-blowing. It's actually depressing, honestly. Yeah. But it was cool because they used to actually compete for your dollar. Like, they were very serious. They knew they had the best product in the world and they loved it. And Phil Spencer goes, eh, I mean, you know, if you want to buy a Series X, this would be cool. You know, but it's like he doesn't sell it like a salesman. Like, if I was, you know, at like on, on an Xbox stage selling you an Xbox, I would come out and I would be like, we have the Xbox Affinity here. You know, the 2026 Xbox. And this is the best product you've ever wanted in your life. This is an incredible Xbox. This is next-gen gaming. This is the PC experience at home. You plug it in and you enjoy the best games, the best services on Xbox. You have the best look at Call of Duty game out there. We've got a great new Halo game. We've got the Elder Scrolls, exclusive to Xbox. We have the greatest exclusives. We've got an incredible third-party lineup. This is the console you want. You'd be crazy not to buy this Xbox. But Phil Spencer comes down and he's like, Oh, you know, it's okay. I mean, I'd like you to buy this Xbox. It'd be alright. But there's no passion, no excitement behind it. The guy doesn't even have confidence in his own product lineup. Whereas I, I'd love to come out on stage and be like, this is the best fucking Xbox we've ever put together in our entire history. This is all of our computing power. Four, five generations of Xbox coming together. One powerful beast of a motherfucking console. And you don't get that excitement from that guy. Yeah. Skeptical about the next Fable? I don't even know what the next Fable is going to look like. I mean, like, from a technical standpoint, I think the Fable trailer they showed off really is really good. But at the same time, the more I think about, like, Xbox's initiatives in regards to how they handle gaming, I'm a little worried that they showed a female character. Because, like, Fable, to me, has always been something that's, like, it's about a boy that becomes a hero. And that's the story. But... It hits the female audience beautifully well, because I know Kevin's sister loves Fable, and I know my sister loves Fable. And I know Fable is a series that hits on women really well, because they get to make their character do their thing. But I think from a core standpoint, you need to sell Fable as something where it's like, your core male audience looks at that game and they're like, as a boy it would have been really cool to grow up and become a hero that wields a sword and shoots magical spells out of my fingers. And I think they kind of lost that. And... Yeah, I'm a little worried they don't know what they're doing with Fable. Because you sold Fable 1, 2, and 3 as something where it's like... A young boy grows up to become a hero. And you're selling Fable Next as a series with like a lady that's... So-so looking, aesthetically pleasing wise, as a hero. In a fairy tale world. And I don't know if that's the best marketing for it. Because the fable marketing of the past worked really well for my sister who's now an adult and Kevin's sister who's now an adult. And it hit them really well and it hit us really well as, as males growing up and now we're like twenties, thirties and stuff like that. And I don't I don't think they understand how to market fable. And I that that worries me. And I hope it's really good and Playground does a really good job and I think the next fable is gonna be really good. And I hope the next Fable is going to be really good. But I think their initial marketing message wasn't great. Yeah. And uh, I, I hope it's good, because I love him. Oh yeah, you'll create your own character. But from a marketing standpoint, I'm kind of like... Because <sighs> I, you know, like, honestly... Like, honestly, I am super cool with them trying to capture a female audience 
Like a lot of people that be like, oh, you know, diversity initiatives. I'm not. I'm not that type of person. Like I don't really care as much. But when I sit there and I look at Fable and I think, you should be selling the male fantasy RPG and then also attracting the female audience like they used to. I think it's a smart idea, and I think their direction with it is not smart. And that's just like a really cold hard opinion on it. But I hope it's good, because I, again, I, I love Fable. Like, you know, like I played, you know, I always talk about playing Halo Combat Evolved when I was a kid. I also played Fable, I love Fable. And I hope it's really good. And I want Fable to come back strong, but I'm worried about the marketing not touching people in a way that makes them want to play it. And it's, it's sad. So anyways, we've gone long enough, guys. I'm, I'm going to call it a day on this one. I hope you guys have had uh, a great time. And you may hate my opinions, you may hate my thoughts, but, uh, you know, I think I have a pretty good understanding of the industry and all that. Yeah. TV, 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 sports, sports. There's a dog in Call of Duty. Anyways, you guys have a great one. Hope you enjoy Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and uh, I think we'll do... Diablo tomorrow probably so if you want to join in get your Diablos downloaded or whatever